Hello again and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Mordian Glory Battle Report. Today we'll be doing another 2000 match play game and it is going to be, surprise surprise, Imperial Guard versus... The Adeptus Custodes, yes! I know a lot of you hate this voice but I'm going to keep doing it, yes! <laughs> yeah, I uh, gave some custards. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, let's dive into today's list and see what both players are bringing. All right, so today I am running my 2,000 points of Imperial Guard. Surprise, surprise, Mordian running the Guard. And I will be running a pure infantry army. And it's going to be similar to the one that you saw on the last battle port, but they have made a few tweaks and improvements trying to refine the formula. So I will be running two battalions today. Both battalions are going to have the regiment traits of Erling weapons, with extra four inch range on all of my guns. And I'm also going to be running Swift as the Wind so that my infantry will be a little bit faster moving around the extra inch movement and stuff like that. Uh, now, in terms of uh, my relics and warlord traits, I have taken uh, two relics today and one warlord trait. The first relic I've taken is the big bullshit banner of doom. That is the one that lets me ignore to hit modifiers. You can't take no pains, no wound cats, all that kind of good stuff. It is basically an auto include in every single guard army. Uh, the second relic I've gone for is the death mask of Lonius Pius, and that is going in the Dreadnought. That is right, we are using the Dreadnought again today. It took a tanking from the Dark Elder. Can it take an absolute beating from the Custodes? We will find out. Who is truly the superior creation of the Emperor? Is it a Custodes or is it one beefy boy with a cigar? Let's find out today. Uh, so, so then, so that are my relics. Uh, my warlord trait today is I've uh, one of the Castellans is going to be my warlord, but I've not given him a warlord trait. I've spent a CP pre game for Officer Cadre to give my uh, Cadian Command Squad the warlord trait superior tactical training so that my Cadian Command Squad knows uh, kind of all they wouldn't normally know. And I've gone for Perfectus Orders. I did consider Mechanized Orders, of course, in this entirely infantry army, but then I decided that would probably not be the right decision. <laughs> so the reason we've done that is it allows us to do long range, get back in the fight, which is very important for, um, otherwise, you know, if you don't have a common start, it can be kind of difficult to uh, fall back and shoot. Uh, so that is the, uh, the regiment traits, the two battalions, the warlords and relics. Getting into the units themselves now, uh, I've got a Scion Command Squad with a uh, Perfectus Command Rod, and then I've got a Banner, a Medic, a Vox, and there's like a lone guy in there with a Melter Gun. I've then gone for a Cadian Command Squad, and I've got a Banner, I've got a Medic, I've got a Master Vox, uh, I've got uh, one guy in there just running a special weapon, and I've got uh, the Officer with a Power Sword, and then I've also, of course, got Big Daddy Nork himself running around having a good time. Uh, and then there's no Ashpath in there today because um, slight mistake in my last game, guys. Uh, I couldn't uh, do Night Shroud from the Ashpath. Fortunately, it never came up. I was just doing Psychic uh, Ritual, but um, I've taken a uh, taken the Ashpath out and I've swapped in a Premier Psychic so that I've, I can do it properly if I ever do want to get Night Shroud off. Uh, so there are my two Command Squads. I've then got two Castellans, just standard, nothing special about them. And then I've got a Primary Psychic and the Primary Psychic is going to know Psychic Barrier and it's going to know uh, Night Shroud. So that will allow me to actually do the Dreadnought at full power. This Dreadnought is operating at full capacity today. Um, so those are my HQs across the two battalions. Uh, troop choice is very simple. 12 squads of Death Corps Greek, all with two special weapons, a mixture of Melter and Grenade Launcher Flame, and that's just because what I've got. You wouldn't think the guy that's been collecting guard for, you know, 20 years would have a shortage of special weapons, but apparently I spent the last two editions just painting up a million plasma guns, and then Death Corps decided that they didn't like plasma, so there we go. Uh, I've also got a, a medic in there, because I just love the medic, and I've got a box in there, and the sergeant's board has got last pistol and chainsaw, because just... You know, keep it nice and simple. Uh, and then I've got three squads of uh, Kazakin. They've all got two Melter, two Plasma, Sniper, Vox. I've got a Melter Mine in each squad. Uh, so they've all got all the goodies. Uh, and then I've got three units of Kazakin. And the um, they're all equipped the same as well. So we've got a double Plasma, double Volley Gun, Vox, Sergeant with last pistol, Hot Shot Last Pistol, Chainsaw, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and that is basically this. Now, to mention my Kazakin elite warrior trait, elite training, I have gone for brutal strength on one. That will be the guy waving the chainsaw around. I have gone for elite sharpshooters. That will be the guy who is rocking the power sword model sergeant. And then I've also gone for uh, veteran gorillas. 
uh, because that is going to be the guy who's walking around with the plasma pistol uh, on the sergeant. So that's how you can identify which squad's got which trait. Uh, and that is my list. It is about 180 line infantry. So not that many for a pure infantry list, but uh, I'm hoping that the extra drawability, you know, the fact that the custodians will only be wounding me on threes rather than on twos because of being death core should, should help. Uh, and hopefully the medic will be able to stitch a bunch of guys' legs back on and help me avoid a few casualties. <gasps> Just doing the CPR like, you know, he's watching Dr. Mike. Chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions. <laughs> so that is my list. Um, and then, of course, we'll go over saccharine and stuff when we do deployment and all that kind of good stuff. So I will now hand over to Tom and he will take you through his custodies. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the battle report today. Where I'm facing a horde of Imperial Guard, which I wasn't expecting, and uh, I've brought a, a little, little smittering of Adeptus Custodes, yes. Uh, I'm running two patrols today. Uh, I have two uh, Dawn Eagle jet bike captains. Uh, one of them has two Warlord traits, Superior Creation and Radiant Mantle, so a 5 up feel on the pain and minus one to hit in combat all the times and minus one to hit. Funny if there's uh, something that stops you from getting that, isn't it, Tom? Indutably, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> a little bit of salt. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, a Radiant Mantle stops me getting hit uh, in shooting and in combat, uh, minus one to hit. Uh, and then the other uh, bike captain, he has the Champion of the Imperium, uh, Wallow trait, which allows him to re-roll all hits uh, in combat, as well as heroic into being six inches. Um, and then going back to the Dawn Eagle jet bike captains, they've also got two captain commander traits. The first one allows the big beefy dude with all the debuffs to hit and tanky boy. Uh, he's got the captain commander trait to re-roll all hits and wounds in combat when he charges. Tip of the spear, I believe it's called. Uh, and the other one has... Um, I think it's called Unstoppable Destroyer. I'm not too sure though. But uh, essentially, if I'm in a uh, combat with a unit with more than six models, I get plus two extra attacks added onto my stuff, which is quite possibly quite good today considering I'm facing a horde. Yes. Uh, and then moving on to the troops in the patrol list, um, I have two units of bog standard custodian guard. They're literally just there to sit on objectives and maybe hit something if something comes close to him. Which, knowing Tim, he'll be like, Sally Fov! And then charge at me, which, uh, you know, which is what guard do, apparently. Uh, and then I brought two units of free bikes. One of them has free salvo launchers. Another one has uh, free hurricane bolters. Quickly going back to the Dawn Eagle jet bike captains. One of them, the big tanky boy, has salvo launcher. And the other one has a hurricane bolter as well. So if I get within uh, 12 inches of Tim's units, that is 12 shots each from the bikes hitting hitting them, hitting them on twos and wounding them on threes, I believe. So it's very nice, very good. Uh, and then in the elite slot, I have an Achilles Dreadnought. This guy has the Stratagem Eternal Penitent, so he gets plus one attack. And he also has two Infernus, Infernus cannon things on his wrists, which are basically... Uh, heavy D6 flamers, or Assault D6 flamers, I'll have to check in a bit. Um, and then moving on to the heavy support, I've got two Caladius tanks with uh, Iliastus cannons, I believe, the or the, uh, I think, no, sorry, the Annihilator cannons, I think they're called, uh, the heavy eight shots, um, hitting on twos, lots of damage. Um, and they've got the bolters as well. Uh, which are very nice. So essentially these guys are just going to clear up the guard, hopefully. Uh, small infantry squads and stuff. And then moving on to the final heavy support slot, uh, which is a bit of an unusual one. I haven't run this unit since 8th edition because it isn't very good. <laughs> but it's... It's... It's cool, maybe? Uh, it's a Telemon Dreadnought with a Archaeus Cannon and Callistus Fist. Calacitus, Tilibitibus, Fist. Um, so, yeah, so he's got a pretty nice gun. He's got a big spike cannon on the back and a plasma twin projector, um, which is like a, a flamer, but deals like free damage, I believe. 
pretty spicy. Um, and that is literally all my list today. Um, if you can't tell already, I've been blessed by Papa Nurgle himself, and so I'm feeling a bit under the weather today. Getting your excuses in early. Getting my excuses in early. Uh, and I've not slept very well, so that's another excuse. And this force is basically here today to try and uh, gain a bit of honour that I lost last week in the last battle report. Because my custodian guard didn't fare too well against the dudes last time. Um, but yes, that is my custodian list. And um, just as well to let you know, guys know, if you want to see any other uh, custodian lists in the future, uh, please do let me know because I do have every unit, I believe, of the custodian uh, custodies range, including Forge World, in my at home. I have about 10,000, 11,000 points. Or about a third of Tim's army, probably. Um, so yeah, do let us know about that because it'll be really nice to do some viewer suggested uh, lists, even if it's just themes and um, like ideas. Like, please include thirteen bikes and twelve Trajan Valorises. I'll try and see what I can do with that. Um, so yes, that is my list for today. I'm not running the Blade Champion, Champion of the Blades, because I couldn't fit him in. And I'm not running Trajan because Trajan last week was terrible. Yes. So, yes. I hope you all enjoy the battle report. And let's get to deployment. So here we have the field of battle today. We are going to be playing Death and Zeal. So that is a five objective mission. You can see there is one objective here. So, well, there is one there. It's just surrounded by guardsmen at the moment. We've got one in the middle. We've got one on this uh, sort of top left here, and then another one being guarded by the Adeptus Custodes. To score primary victory points, you need to hold at least one objective. That will get you four victory points. If you hold two objectives, that will gain you eight victory points. And if you hold more objectives than your opponent, you will score an additional four victory points. To score the second part of the primary objective, also known as the tertiary, you need to kill units that are holding objectives. For each unit that you kill holding objective, you will score one victory point for a total of three each turn. Even if you end up killing four, it does cap out at three points per turn for that second part of the primary. You can also score some bonus victory points if you control an objective that you did not control at the start of your turn. All right, so the secondary objectives for both sides today, I have taken special orders, I have taken a flexible command, and I've taken boots on the ground. I am pretty confident that I should be able to get a decent amount of points with those secondary objectives. Uh, special orders is where if I do an action on some uh, objectives that are in no man's land or my opponent's objective, then I, I score some points. So if I do it on one objective, I gain two. If I do it on two objectives, I gain Five, and if I do it on uh, three objectives, I gain 10. And if I do it on four objectives, then the, it maxes out and I get 15 at the end of the game. Uh, inflexible command is as long as I am essentially within 24 inch range of my officers, because everyone's got Vox casters today, then I'll get two victory points. If I kill an enemy unit under the influence of an order, I will gain a victory point. Uh, so I can get three from that a turn. I have no tank, so I can't do the tank bit. And um, boots on the ground is I get a victory point for each table quarter. I have an infantry uh, person in uh, an infantry squad in, so that's like a sort of a better uh, engage. But also, if I have a squad with a banner in the center of the board, I'll also gain a victory point uh, every turn as well. So potentially I should be getting two or three victory points on that every turn. Uh, that is my secondaries, and we'll go over to the custodians ones in just a second. All right, Tom, why don't you take us through what secondary objectives you've taken today? The secondary objectives I've taken today is the best custody secondary objective. It might as well be in the book. It's Raise the Banners. Oh. Because it's the only good obje uh, secondary objective that the custodies can take. <laughs> um, and then I've went for the second objective is No Prisoners because... That's a strange one. I mean, look at, look at the bodies. Um... It's kill or be killed in this game, so might as well try and do the killing. Um, and then the last one is grind them down because I don't have many units and Tim does. So I'm hoping that I can score grind them down because if I'm not, I'm losing the game anyway. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that's uh, that's my uh, three objectives. And uh, yeah. All right. So those are the second news of both sides. Let's get. So here we have the field of battle after deployment. The guard have deployed in a tactical blob. 
Hopefully it will uh, be effective against the Adeptus Custodes, the Golden Boys. So what we've gone for, guys, is we've got some sort of Vanguard units that are out there in the center. Uh, you can see we've also got some units on the flank over here. These are sort of some standard uh, Krieg infantry units. The reason we've done that is I couldn't fit everyone. Krieg. No, well, they've been trained by the Krieg, you oh. see. They've done enough Bayonet charges. They just mm. did the fast course. It was mm. fine. Um, three-day course. They did the three-day online course, and <laughs> so now I'm audience a Krieg. Um, now, the reason is I couldn't quite fit everyone in my deployments though, without just being, without backlining. And I don't really like backlining. Uh, so I figured I'd chuck them out front. Yeah, it does mean that Tom has the opportunity to get a turn one charge, but if he does that, he's going to be sat in front of my gun line. So we'll see how that or goes. Or maybe not. Maybe not. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't mind losing a few, you know, losing a few infantry at the first turn. Uh, you know, and obviously these guys are on this flank, so that they can start being annoying on this objective, and these guys. Oh, on this flank, so they can start being annoying on this objective. Now, behind the initial waves of Krieg infantry, we've got uh, our specialists. So we've got our Kazakin and, and Scions in this sort of blob here. And we've got another little squad of Kazakin just on this flank over here. Uh, we've then got the Dreadnought in a nice central position, ready to uh, to counter charge. Uh, we've got a Castellan in each, uh, in each blob, Primera Psyker, and then, of course, we've got the Scion Command squad there as well. Now I think I forgot to mention what my warlord trait was for the uh, for the sign command. It will be drill commander, which means I'll be able to rapid fire my weapons at maximum range. I don't need to worry about getting into half range. I think I forgot to say that in the list overview, so I thought I'd just mention it now. Now coming over here to the uh, to the golden boys, we have got the sort of standard deployment of hide everything behind a big ruin. Yes. Uh, but you have deployed Big Chungus out in the open. Big Daddy, he's out in the open. He's looking for some. Sweet infantry. I reckon he can probably take it, to be fair. Well, the reason I've left the Teleman in the open is because if he stands still uh, with his uh, cannons here, he gets um, five extra shots with them if he hasn't moved with the next phase. So ah. it turns to a heavy ten, so he, he can be pretty nasty against um, infantry blobs. Nice. Um, and then I've got the two, uh, two, one shield captain, the other shield captain, both shield captains have no top knots, that's how you'll be able to identify them, and one has a big ass skull on the front of them. Um, and oh then yeah, cool. I have the two free man bike squads, one infantry custodian squad, two Caladius tanks in the back, and Achilles on the side, and another infantry squad over here. Are these all the custodians that are left in your collection these, after the last um, game? Yeah, these ones are the ones that haven't been shot. <laughs> nice. Um, these three are the ones that ran away. <laughs> <laughs> no, the ones that ran away had shields. No, that's these true. These guys have been demoted. So yeah, they don't have shields, shields anymore. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that is so that's a pretty good. You, you've actually we've gone for the sort of standard deployment of hide mm -hmm. stuff. Um, you've exposed stuff. I've exposed some stuff. All good. Uh, so that is deployment. That is the I mission. Think, I yeah. think me and Tim are too used to playing tournament style maps where you have to hide everything, or, or you, you lose. lose. <laughs> ever lost? Ever seen a game lost turn one? <laughs> I have. Yes, I lost one against Robbo the other day. Yeah, Very Votan. Nice. Yeah, that's Votan though. Screw those guys. Yeah, uh, so that is deployment. We'll go through our secondary objectives <coughs> now. So now it is time for the most important dice roll of the game. As always, who is going to get first turn? Now, Tom, yes. you may roll first. I will do because I'm the lady. I bite my thumb at you, sir. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did you want to one? Mm, maybe. Uh, haven't well, got it. I think uh, I wanted you to you, have turn one, to be you fair. Have the, I wanted turn one because I wanted to kill things. Ah, uh, well, you'll get to do that. Yes. So uh, my turn one should be pretty simple, guys. It's going to be a move. And that's probably it. So, yeah, we'll go for that. and We'll be back in a moment. All right, so the end of turn one guard movement and command phase. Every single person got take cover. That means that they've all got an extra save, and some of them will even have an extra save and a minus one to hit as well. Very nice. Uh, and then in terms of uh, the movement, I basically push forward with a number of my standard Krieg units. Yes, they are slightly exposed, but I am hoping that the uh, take cover and the medic and the trans mini trans human will help them a lot. Uh, but we have put ourselves onto two, uh, uh, three objectives in total. This one fairly comfortably, this one just tenuously. I literally just moved the squad forward so I could then uh, get 
some um, special orders on that unit there. Now, uh, this squad did have to receive uh, duty uh, and honor, which is where they can move, advance, and still do an action. So that's what they've done there, so that they can get special orders off on that middle objective. Uh, of course, the Dreadnought is in range of them to allow them to do special orders. So we are on three objectives. We have pushed out the Dreadnought getting into position, obviously, to start scoring some uh, central boots on the ground points and all that kind of good stuff. Now, um, in terms of the rest of my stuff, I kept a lot of, you can see I've got loads of infantry. I've still got like uh, uh, 40 of my regular infantry and all my signs are cast again. They are well protected behind uh, this, this, these sort of ruins here. And the reason that is that when, the, when Tom comes barreling in with his bikes, I want to have a counter charge capability. Uh, over here, we move some units forward here, just a little platoon, a little 30 man platoon moving forward so that we can in future turns start threatening that objective over there. Uh, either with some special orders or just taking Tom's banners off it. So we've, uh, we're hoping to, because we're taking up like a lot of the border, we've spread out across the line. Hopefully that means either Tom will have to ignore one flank and let me sort of run around, run amok, or he'll spread himself out. And hopefully my superior numbers will allow, him, allow me to win when he spreads himself too thin. We'll see. Who knows? So that is my movement and command phase. I do have a very quick psychic phase to do. The first thing I want to do is uh, I want to do Night Shroud on the Dreadnought in case Tom comes bowling in. Uh, we have, it is a Perils though. Now, um, I've only got one CP and I'm kind of okay. I don't need to worry about the Perils too much. So if it was an Ashpath, I would worry because he'd just suck himself into the warp and kill everyone. But as I the... feel the warp overtaking me. It is a good pain. <laughs> so how many mortals do I take? Uh, two, that's fine. And then the second power, I'll go for Psychic Barrier. Uh, and I'm actually going to put that on this squad uh, here. I think I put it on uh, this squad here because I want them to try and hold the objective a bit longer. And they have got that off as well. So he is going for it, this Psyker. He's actually going for it. He's rolling 10s for days. 10s and 12s. Uh, so both my powers have gone off. I don't believe you have any way of denying that, do you? Uh, no, I have no silence. Very good, very good. I did think about taking Warp Ritual against you, but I figured uh, I, I did that in the last game, so I'd mix it up and take... Uh, special orders instead, just for a bit of fun. Oh, that might have been good with the uh, Dreadnought Command Squad. Yeah, I did it in the last game. I wanted to mix up. I don't want it to be exactly the same game again, so I thought I'd mix up a little very bit. Good, very good. Yeah. So that is turn one for the guard. We've done a bit, big, big bit of movement. Yeah. Let's uh, see how how these Golden Boys then react. Yes. All right, so we have done Custodes movement and command phase. Uh, did you just gain a CP in your command phase? I did gain a CP, and I also spent a CP. Okay, what did you spend the CP on? So I have just normal moved everything other than this squad, which advanced five, and this guy, which advanced six. Oh, very nice. So he's been able to go over there. Um, and then I have spent a CP on the front bike squad over there with the Hurricane Bolters. Yes. And put them in Salva Stance 1 so that they're still in rapid fire range of the back squad on the objective with Timothy. Very nice, very nice. Um, and I basically just moved everything up and they're gonna start firing their gun line. And um, yeah, obviously after I do the Psychic phase, that's what I'm... Uh, okay, so we'll go to the Custodian Psychic phase. Yes. So that was a custodian psychic phase. Now time for the shooting phase. Shooting phase. So we are <laughs> going to start off with this tank here, the Caladius, and it is going to shoot into this squad here with the two flamers. All right, now you will be hitting me on twos because uh, I'm not in any sort of light cover to get dense cover. Oh. So yeah, there you go. Off you, off you yes. pop. What's your first gun? So the Caladius is going to start with its heavy eight weapon. Okay. AP minus three, okay. two damage a piece, so it doesn't really matter for you. No. It's hitting on twos, strength seven, so it's wounding on twos as well? Or are you Krieg? I'm sir? Krieg. He is Krieg, sir. So yes. I'm wounding him on threes. Indeed. Which is very annoying, so yes. So let's go for the uh, first one into that squad over there. Okay. So hit him on the twos. Ooh, you... All hit, but I am Emperor's chosen, sir, so I get to re roll once. Okay. Uh, you do well, that... I get to re roll one. Her phase. Okay, that's fine. So that's my. Uh, that's your reroll done. That's my You've spent it. Done. Yes. Okay, so now you're on some wounding on threes. Wounding on threes, baby. Uh, Ooh, that actually helped me. That saved me one, didn't it? Um, so yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's AP three. Yes. So, so that will put me on to a nothing save. 
Yes. Even with a four up. But because I got a medic in there, I yes. just one of the first fell safes goes away. Okay. So how so many? So that's three that's casualties. Three. Just three from a tank. Just three. But right. he's got his second gun. All right. Well, well. Uh, what's the second gun? We'll, we'll, it we'll... is a twin linked heavy lastrum bolter. Okay. What? Well, so six shots. AP minus two. One damage piece. Oh, I will get a save against this. All right. So uh, this is. You've used your reroll. I've used my reroll. So re that's that's drop one there. Yes, I've used my reroll. And threes so, again, even though your strength is probably threes. big. Oh, no! Wow. Look, look at that wounds. has saved me two more, and I will get a save against this, yes. so I'll just get my dice. So, so thanks to Take Cover, I will be on a six up save. Yeah! And oh. I saved one, which means just one more guy dies. I told you they were tough. A full Cladis tank unloading, killing four guys. That's that four? Oh that's just my. four guys. It's happening again. Oh dear! No, it's happening. Again. So these guys don't do anywhere near as much damage on like Cadians, but they can yeah. take. Yeah, they can a take punch. fire. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, but how much does that Cladian tank cost? Uh, Two hundred and five points. It killed uh, <laughs> thirty-two points worth of guys of him. Do you know what? It's about the long game, Tim. It's about the long, game. About the long game. What turn? The, 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 the long game when you're back at home crying. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll remove those casualties and we'll be back in a moment. So here are the casualties from that squad, just four. And unfortunately, the Hall of Heroes member, Chris Cable, you have died. You are now dining at the Empress side. But we'll be back with the next bit of custodian shooting. So now we will be doing this unit of custodian bikers and they are going to fire into, was it the rear squad here? It's going to fire into the guys with the invulnerable save. Invulnerable save, yeah, because that's uh, essentially this, you don't care about your vulnerable save. I don't care, hurricane it's bolters. hurricane bolters and it's just there to try and... Whittle. So, you know that scene in Robocop at the beginning where he's like, doof, 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 <laughs> that's, really yeah. that's what they're there to do. That's what you're hoping for. Yeah, so these guys are hitting on twos, re-rolling ones because they're near the shield captain. Wounding on threes. Wounding on threes, and they get a free re-roll as well. And, okay, there we so go. Yes, here we go. So, all right, we'll uh, let you put the dice up. We'll be back in a moment. So, after re-rolls were taken into account, you dropped but one. I dropped a single one. The custodians hit every time. They always hit, man. Yeah, my Kazza can hit like you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. And then... Um, threes to wound. Threes to wound. All right, we'll be back in a moment once you've picked those out. Yeah. All right, so at the end of the day, there are 25 four-up saves for because I've taken some cover. That actually looks quite good. Oh my God. Uh, let's see if any of them are left alive. <sighs> if you can hear someone making groaning noise in the background, <sighs> that is Tom, after I just made an absolutely obscene number of four-up <laughs> saves. Take cover! Take cover! Take cover, men! Uh, so those are the saves that I passed. As you can see, many four ups in there, thanks to my order. And these are, one of these got rolled over, yeah. but these are the saves that I failed. So only eight, and guess what, Tom, there's a medic in there, so boop, that one goes away. So a full unit of custodian guard killed uh, seven Kriegsmen. Yeah, and uh, just to remind you guys, these dice are going up on sale soon. <laughs> so if you would also like to roll like Timothy over here, then do pick some up. Yeah. They'll be coming out soon, I'm presuming. So, I'm yes. going to be doing a dice run, yeah, around yes. Christmas time, yes. so... Pick it up for your little boy so you can win games. No, no, pick it up so you can play against your little boy and make him cry. That's how you That's how you instill character. See, you can see the difference in personality here. And, and upbringing, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I will move those couch seats and we'll be back in a moment. We're going to do the big lad on camera and then we'll do the rest of it off camera. All right, so Big Chungus, uh, or what's his actual name? Some sort of special dreadnought, is it? His name's uh, Tom. Tom, so this is Tom Incarnate. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little daddy. bigger than you. Uh, well, I mean, he's got my shoulders. Is it a one-to-one -one scale? <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh, man. He's got my schlong on his Oh, yeah. Right. Is that, is that, is that also a one-to-one -one scale? <laughs> one -one. I don't want to. Uh, it's not very flattering. <laughs> All right. Uh, All so, right. Yes. Now, he, he is, what's it? No, joking aside, serious yes, time. We're yes. serious people. We're professionals. Yes. It is a game of war. And we are professionals. Yes. Okay, what's shooting first? So uh, he's going to shoot his um, Arachnus Storm Cannon uh, on the bur uh, the bur setting. So he gets heavy six, strength seven, AP minus two, one damage. Is this this weapon here? Uh, that is his cannon. Yes. And then that's not good. The, that's not a cannon, sir. That's, that's just missile launch. Ah, all right. And that's shooting into the squad that's in the yes. dens here. And he's also shooting his... Um, uh, bolt launcher. Ah, uh, okay, so that's the bolt launcher. Bolt launcher, and then the other one's a cannon, uh, into okay. the same squad. So that'll be a total of uh, 
Uh, 11 shots into them, so probably not going to do much, but whitt whittling away. Whittling, whittling away. away. Whittling. Okay, so yes. what are you shooting first? I'm going to shoot the Arachnus Storm Cannon. The Arachnus Storm Cannon. Yes. I need to translate for your custodian's voice so yes. the people back at home understand what you're yes, actually saying. Because um, people, people might get. People commented. People. <laughs> people might get a little bit annoyed with this, yeah. All right. Okay, so you go for the Storm Cannon. Yes. All right, fire away. Funnily enough, one guy said to tone it down. And believe me, it Tim is. will know this is me toned down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's going to be uh, hitting on freeze. Uh, wounding on freeze because of the Krieg thing. <laughs> would be two though, wouldn't it? Would be two. Yeah, would be two. <laughs> so hitting on freeze. Does it get any rerolls? And Bruce chosen. Ah, it's got to have that dense because we'll do something for oh, me. Oh no, I dropped the dice. Oh no, oh no. Right, right. Uh, and then freeze. Ah, there you go. Ooh, that's all right. So uh, that, so I dropped free there. So that's what's the AP? AP is AP minus two. So I get a save. You do three saves, sir. Save one. Save one, kill two. Uh, nope. Does this guy have a medic? Every squad's got a medic, so that kills one guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did a video on these guys, mate. It's going up this uh, this week. Oh, there's a video on these guys. They're pretty good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. The guard codex is not broken, everybody. The guard codex is not broken. You say it enough. You <laughs> say a lie big enough enough times, people <laughs> believe it. Yeah, <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, and then the uh, bolt cannon hitting on freeze. This is the harpoon launcher. The harpoon launcher. You're going to need a bigger boat. And then, uh, this will be winded on uh, freeze. Yeah. Uh, oh, so look at that custodian. The custodian's got a creek trade coming in so, again. Uh, one. AP? Uh, this is AP one. Ah, you ah, do get it. Don't, don't save it this time. Damn. <laughs> uh, so that is two. He killed two guys. Killed two guys with the big man. Yeah. Uh, and he is 275 points, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. That is all the shoot we're going to do on camera. We'll do the rest of it off camera, guys, and we'll be back uh, with a summary of that and then the custodies charge and assault phase. Yes. So after the custodies had finished their shooting phase, they basically finished off a couple of the Krieg squads. They finished off the squad down here, uh, and then they also finished the squad that was initially protecting the Dreadnought. Uh, so that is the custodian shooting phase, and we know what you're doing in your charge phase. You're going to go for these bikes and the shield captain. Are basically going to go into this squad here, and is that the only couple of charges you do in this turn? Uh, probably. I'll have a think about it uh, okay. in a second. But um, yeah, I'm basically just going to try and slam my head against the wall and uh, see if I can break it. All right, squad. nice. Uh, so the the first bike squad needs a four inch charge to get in to uh, the to, Kriegs, to yeah. Try and kill them. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to use a CP reroll? I swear to God, man. Fuck me. Oh, okay. Hey! Hey! You're on zero CP now, aren't you? Yes, I was going to do something funky with that CP, but now <laughs> we'll never know. No, we'll never know. Uh, and then the other shield captain is going to charge as well. He gets to reroll his charges because of Oriquilis. Which is a relic, okay. a Oracle relic. So he's going to attempt to charge in. Oh, where Absolutely was that before? Banging, baby. All oh, right, so uh, groovy, baby. Anything else, or um, this guy's so gonna... I'm going to see uh, how far is the charge. I'm guessing it's a very, very big charge. Yes, an, an out of range. Out of range charge. As a bolt action Japanese player, I can eyeball twelve inches now and say that is well over it. Well, I don't need to eyeball it because I've been looking at twelve inches all my life. Oh, you were born with it. Jesus Christ, you was, fucking horrific monstrosity. I was called Mungo as a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these guys, uh, they got like a 10. Yeah, the okay. 10, yeah, they rolled two fives. Uh, yeah, in the end. There's no doubt in the comments of permission or anything. Uh, yes, so these guys are going to go like this against the wall. This guy's going to go boom like this because he flies. And then this guy is going to go boom. And then this guy moves 12 inches. So it's whether I can sit happily... <laughs> so, oh, the base is I gone. forgot that he was broken. I I broke him on. Yes. Well, we won't talk about that. We don't talk about Bruno. Um, there we go. He's a bit. You know, he's got he's got he's got the spirit, but he's a little confused. That's all right. Um, so yes, moving on to the fight phase, everybody. Okay, so we'll be back in just a moment. Yes. All right, so we are going to start with these custody chappies over here. They get six attacks each going into the infantry squad. Yes. 
Let's take a look. So uh, they've got six attacks each because of the certain stance, I believe. Yes, so uh, their stance is the Carter Eye, so they'll get uh, one extra attack, but they sacrifice it by going down to one damage. But we don't care about that because she's a pretty not a problem. squishy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then they also get three extra attacks because of their Misericordias. So they're hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, and we they get threes. plus one to wound. Doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter because of Krieg. Yes. Do you like Krieg? Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> so these guys getting on twos, rolling ones. I think you're still going to absolutely batter them. And but... then, so there we go. Oh, he dropped one. Dropped one. There the we custodians, go. Look at, if that was like law wise and you actually dropped an attack, you'd be like. If a custodian missed an attack, he would be, be sent as an emissary because that's what they do in retirement. They get sent oh. out as emissaries because they're. Um, Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, these guys we wounded on threes, and I get a free reroll one as well. So, I missed two. Uh, free. Any more? I don't think so. What's the and AP on re -roll. Okay, what's uh, the AP? The AP is minus four. So, I won't get a save. How no. many in total? So, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm dead. Even my medic, I'm dead. Yes. Good. So, that infantry squad in there has bought it. We'll let you do some consolidations for the nation. The consolidation moves. And then we will be back in just a moment. So after the dust had settled, the custodians had piled into here. They really needed that CP so they could do a six inch consolidate anywhere they wanted. But sadly, they got tripped up by this little bit of moss. This this, this bit of moss right here really moss, caused them a lot of problems. Uh, the shield captain did go into that unit over there. Uh, and uh, they didn't do any damage to him with their free attacks, essentially. Uh, now, uh, Tom did debate about going into the Dread Nork, but he realised that um, he would just be giving me free hits, and Nork is actually kind of a beast in combat. Um, and I can only use um, the martial discretion ability once. Otherwise, um, so essentially with that CP, what I was going to do is use the uh, six-inch consolidate with the bikes, get yeah. them into a different unit, yeah, um, and then martial discretion the next turn, and... Uh, try and lock them up in Captaris because you can roll off to see if they can fall back or not. Yeah. Uh, you can only use uh, Master Discussion once, so I've already used it on the bikes, which is annoying. Um, oh, was that over here, was it? Yes. Ah. So that I could get the extra shots. So there's no way you stop me from falling back and shooting you? Uh, I do, because I may have it in my guitar cards. Okay. Do you have it, though? <laughs> maybe maybe all right well that is the, we'll, we'll, i guess we'll find out um you activated my trap card you activated my trap card all right so that is the end of the custodies uh fight phase everything we will be back with guard turn two yes. command and movement it's time to go all in to do All right, the tin whistles have gone up across the line. Forwards for the Emperor, man! Do your part, the Emperor is watching you! And uh, every... watching me. No, you know. no, I... we are the Emperor's true finest. I am the Emperor's sons. Well, I'm we're the his... Emperor's you're the You're the red-headed stepchild, and I'm the real child. No. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> we, Marines are not brave. No. Custodians are not brave. Guardsmen yeah. are brave. Uh, so everyone has moved on. Now, pretty much everyone has received the take aim order, apart from there is one cheeky squad over there. You can see them conga lining forward. And there's a couple of the guys that have nipped behind the wall. And they have advanced and they are still able to do the action. Now, the reason I'm able to do that so uh, effectively is thanks to, uh, thanks to the big banner. Okay, uh, thanks to the command squad, not the big band, thanks to the command squad who have got the superior tactical training warlord trait. That's how they do it. It's really good having long range perfectus orders. Um, now, uh, that is my movement phase. In my command phase, of course, I, um, I gained a CP. I shall be spending some soon, I suspect. Uh, and that is pretty much it. We've now got the psychic phase, which we'll do quickly. Now, I am going to put Night Shroud onto, onto Nork's unit. And I have got off an 11. Woohoo! He's firing hot today, boys. Uh, so that's an 11. You can't deny that, can you? Uh, no, I don't have any... Uh, this is silence. silence. Uh, and we will go for... Um, on this squad here, we'll go for Psychic Barrier. That's an 11 again! Oh, he man. is... He is He's cooking on... Off. He's popping He's off. popping off. He's cooking on gas. <laughs> oh, so that's my Psychic phase. That's my Command phase. My Movement phase. Now it is time for the best of phases.
the shooting the phase. The shooting phase. So we're going to do the squads that are hanging out in here first, and they're going to shoot everything they can into the Custodes captain here. Now, we've got a couple of Flamers and a couple of Melticons there, and the rest are going to be some Lasguns and stuff. So now these guys do not have any form of uh, rerolls to hit. They're not in uh, Castellan range uh, or rerolls to wound. So uh, this, we've just got a couple of Melter Guns, but they have uh, taken aim. And they're minus one to hit. So they will be hitting on fours. Yes. There you go, that was good. That was two melt guns done. Uh, we'll do the two flamers and then we'll do the lads guns off camera. How does it feel to miss? Ah, uh... oh, it feels terrible. As a guard player, I do, I do, I do miss. Uh, so two wounds with the flamers at AP minus one. Uh, so it's uh, freeze. Take uh, a wound. One one. Do we feel on a pain? Did he in, in the range of the banner? Uh, no, they're not in range of the banner. Eight, uh, five up on a pain. Yeah. This is six down to eight wounds. We've given you a little little kick, a little tickle, little tickle. Little tickle. We've warmed you up. Tickle in my balls. Yeah, exactly. So we will be back with the. Uh, we'll do the last guns off camera, and we'll see how much damage that Custodes captain has taken. Okay, so after we'd fired the last guns, we did a couple more squads into it quickly. The two grenade launcher squads. These guys were in range of the big bullshit banner of doom, uh, and that meant that uh, he wasn't able to use his feel no pains and suddenly his to hit modifiers weren't a problem and the end result was I was able to do a couple more wounds to him so in total he has taken uh, four wounds now we've got a big squad that I want to do on camera we have got the uh, the Kazakin now this Kazakin squad is going to just fire everything into that chap there so we are going to be hitting on uh, Which, uh, this, uh, it's this squad okay. here going into this guy here can I not target him yet? Uh, no, uh, you can with that one, just not these guys around here. Okay, no, that's fine. I wasn't going to do that. That's okay. So we've got a couple of mouth guns. He will hit already be dead. Yes. Two mouth guns hitting on two, three rolling ones. There's two hit. One. It doesn't matter. The big doesn't bullshit matter. banner. Okay. Uh, wounding. That's fine for wounds. Uh, save. Four ups. Oh, Fail one. one. You um, want to use CPI? It's a melter in melter range. Oh, it's a melter. It's a uh, melter in uh, melter it's range. Melter. I'll uh, spend the CP to be around it then. Oh. No. So there's no feel no pain against this. Mm -hmm. That is five damage. Five damage. He's dead. He's dead. Because there's no feel no pain, Tom. <sighs> <laughs> That oh banner, that banner is something else, isn't it, oh bro? Oh dear, dear, dear me. Oh dear. Dearly, dearly, dear. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll do a couple of Kazakhin squad, uh, sorry, um, sound squad. So this sound squad we'll do first into these beaks, beaks here, and then we'll see what how, how that does. So we've got a uh, first plasma gun going in there. Now that's two hits, Dom. Now guess what? Because they're stormtroopers, uh, they, uh, that's exploding sixes. Exploding sixes. So that's three hits from the first plasma gun. And then we've got the second plasma gun. Yep. Oh, look, it's on the same thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, there's a reason I'm about to do a video call. I think Scions are better than Kazakin. And there's a reason uh, why I'm about to uh, do a video on why I'm rolling the glorious dice. So. Oh, no, that is actually really bad. I just rolled three twos to wound. Oh, sorry. Uh, so only two wounds. So two it balanced wounds. out. So two wounds. Uh, uh, many. Four. Uh, same hey, one. save them both. Uh, so we've got two volley guns coming in here. Mm -hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. They all hit, but no explosions. Thanks to take aim. Wounding on fives. Ooh, one, two, nice. three, four, five, and a reroll gets one. So six wounds. Six wounds. At AP minus three. Minus three, so it's four up, uh, invulnerable saves. So there uh, you go through. Three uh, damage. Uh, just one each. Just one. So one's on two wounds. Okay. Now we'll do the hot shot lads guns and stuff off camera, and we're back in just a moment. All right, and after the hotshot last guns had finished, we got pretty good with the hits and wounds. Uh, well, you just sort of do when you're getting exploding and all the rerolls and everything. Uh, we finished off one bike and then a wound to another one. Now, we've shown off some infantry squad firepower there, some Scion and some Kazakin. What we're going to do, guys, is uh, we're going to roll the rest of the stuff off camera because, of course, there's lots of individual units. It take forever for each to roll it all up on camera. And we'll be back once uh, we have finished the guard shooting phase, turn two. So after the las bolts, the plasma, and the hot shots had stopped flying, we uh, we did quite a lot of damage to the custodies. Um, yeah, just a little bit. We were able to not only finish off this squad here, but uh, we were then able to draw line of sight with a couple of Scion squads and a Kazakhin unit over here. And thanks to some supporting fire from uh, these three guardsmen units, we were able to actually kill them. We had we, we had a bit of firepower left over as well, to be honest. So. 
kind of brutal. We were able to kill the bikes and uh, the big tanky uh, bike captain as well. Tank, yeah. yeah. Now, um, th those are the threats that, are, that really worry me as well because um, they're just so fast and they can just get in. They can yeah. If those chop me up. Uh, bolt bikes would live for another turn, they'd easily clean up like uh, two more squads. Easily. Themselves, so. Easily. I think... Um, yeah, it's just so it's so tricky as uh, as custodians right now. Like, oh, Tommy, we were discussing off camera. You like to, you know, mix things up, try different lists and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I always uh, just bring different lists and just try and bring what's fun. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, um, like this list was a bit of an experiment of can I rush up the board and kill as many things as possible. Mm. Uh, sort of list. I think um, if you've been fake, well, obviously we're not we're not done yet. We're sort of doing a little turn one, little yeah, yeah, yeah. turn two, little sort of initial thoughts. Oh, no, I could still I could still spank your ass, but it's, yeah, it's, you've got plenty of firepower but, left. Um, it's it's one of those where it's like I've I've lost three units in a turn, which you know most armies you'd be like, okay, that's acceptable. Yeah, but in a custodian's army, that's awful. Again, it's like eight hundred points, and it's like. <sighs> At least it's not a thousand points. Like that's, that's uh, it's getting better. It's getting, it's getting better. better. Baby. It's getting better baby. Um, I just think it's it's one of those where, I, where you're you know you're it's one of those where I think you have you been playing Cadian, my Cadian guard that turn one you would have come in you would have picked up forty infantry in a turn hands oh, down. Oh, definitely. Uh, those um, those hurricane bolters would have just went and yeah. just zipped at, like. At least two units. Up it's the fact it charge. took two tanks to kill one squad, yeah. uh, just because it's like, oh, I'm wounding you on twos. No, no you're wounding me on threes. Um, so they, because you know, they realize if this was just sort of, we're just doing a little comparison, but you know, to Cadian versus to Krieg. And I think that if the two, uh, if this had been Cadians, they kill a squad each. He probably kills a squad on his own, uh, and then the bikes kill a squad each. You're looking at, uh, let's say, you know. A, Conservatively, forty infantry killed, and instead of what twenty. And then the bike captain probably kills a squad in the charge. And yeah. Bikes kill a squad in the charge as well. So this is why I'm re I'm really feeling the Krieg at the moment, mm. just because they allow you to be a bit more aggressive. You can take a punch. The enemy sort of goes, "Oh, I feel like I should have done more there," and you're like, "Yeah, yeah you you would have done against another regiment." Again, as as I said to Tim off uh, camera, I said the biggest weakness of custodies is volume of fire and. Uh, if you if if you've got like a horde volume of fire and if and also if you can make them hit or wound one less their efficiency just just plummets counts. yeah because as soon as you start saying oh you're hitting on freeze or wounded on freeze um, and it's like oh I can only re-roll ones but I've rolled three two yeah so, oh, okay so it's it's really really tough at the minute little comparison I'd say as well is um, literally comparing these two armies I've got multiple units in my army which are hitting on twos reawning mm -hmm. ones and if I do somehow end up going on to hit back, back to hitting on like threes it's like oh that first squad didn't do so well it's okay That's I've got seven. five more yeah. uh, whereas with custodians it's like oh that first squad didn't do very well Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. That's not yeah. good. Yeah. Um, so that's sort of a little. Just, we've just noticed that literally um, this, this sort of game. You know, the difference between sort of the sort of custodies and the guard. We've got that redundancy. Definitely, definitely not saying is lost or anything. No, not at all. We're just sort of the initial just thought. That, yeah. Like, what what the end of turn one uh, feels like. One feels like yeah. yeah. Well, this is uh, basically going into my turn too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like. Again, if the custodians get to you, they absolutely mince. You. Yeah, doesn't matter how, doesn't matter where you're born in the guard. If a custodian guy gets in combat with you, he's chopping you yeah. up. Um, but that's sort of that is that is guard turn. Uh, that's guard turn number two. two. So yes. we will uh, do some points, and then we're back with the custodians turn uh, two. So, end of Custodes' movement phase. They've been pretty aggressive. I was expecting you to be timid, Tom. I thought you'd shrink no. back in the face of my overwhelming firepower. Overwhelming firepower? No. Um, How many times do I teach you this lesson, old, old man? man. <laughs> so, um, this tank zoomed over here yes. and is towing the objective. Yes. And uh, the captain is going to try and clear a couple of squads. Yes. Uh, and then you have moved forward with Big Chungus. Big, big Daddy. And uh, with uh, Chungus Major and Chungus Minor. Chungus Minor, Chungus Minor. Uh, Chungus Minor is probably better than, than Chungus, Chungus Major. Major. Definitely yeah. better. Uh, and, and then, then we've then got the... a couple of Custodian Guard, Triple Custodian Guard over there. And just, uh... um, they're just going to try and plink a few shots because I'm in Salva Stance 2. So I get to fire twice with my odd equipments, which only f applies to the Custodian Guard because okay. 
Nothing else is affected by it. Uh, these guys just advance. They're just going to try and get to the objective next turn. Yeah. Um, and then this Cladius over here is just towing on the objective. And he's going to try and shoot some dudes. Nice. That sounds like a good job for a tank. Yes. Um, now, just to be clear, in case I was wondering, this little button here is more than your face here. It means I've done special orders on this objective. And last turn, as I do specials on that objective, I conga line back to make sure I was in 12 inches of one of my officers who's chilling out in there. So I have special orders twice. I've just got this one left, mm -hmm. and then I will have got all of the realistic special orders that I will get. Yes. Um, so that is, that's my turn. That, that's uh, Tom's movement phase. Uh, just a little bit of sort of mention about what I did in my turn. Uh, we shall go into the shooting phase now. The shooting phase. Okay, so we are going to start off with the Hurricane Bolters from the Captain Man here. And he is going to fire into this 10-man squad, which does not have any kind of psychic barrier on it. So yeah. there we go. So he has uh, 12 shots with his Hurricane Bolter because he's in rapid-fire range. Yeah. He is re-rolling all his hit rolls because of Champion of the Imperium. Mm, yes. Very good. Um, and he also gets a free uh, re-roll because of Emperor's Chosen. He's so having a great time. I can convert all these into... Wounds. Lovely, lovely wounds. Okay. So Minus three to hit. No, <laughs> no, please. Not like this. Yeah, and then the reroll and the hit. So all hit. All of those do hit. All hit all the time. Yeah. And then this will be wounding on threes. threes. Because of Krieg. And then rerolling one. So that I think is... it's threes anyway because you bolt as... Uh, yeah, but... yeah, it will be threes. So that is four misses, so that is eight wounds. All right, I shall grab some dice. Yes. All right, so we have eight saves. Now, I did not take cover this time. We went, we went all in, which means it's only five of saves. Uh, oh, imagine oh, if I'd taken three. cover. If I had taken cover, I would have saved most of those. Um, this squad, that, I really should have done when I think about it, because that squad was only towing an objective anyway. But anyway, it does not matter. I have failed five, but the medic goes, come on, mate, little bit of adrenaline shot in your book. So that one goes away. So I've taken four casualties, which means there are six men left in that squad. Yes. All right, so we're going to go with Chungus Major here, and he is going to fire into this 10-man squad that is chilling out on the objective. Mm -hmm. Which weapon are you going to fire first? He's firing his Arachnus Storm Cannon uh, Burst first. So it's burst shot. first. Are they in cover? They are. So he'll be hitting on freeze. Oh, no, they're not in dense. Only one guy's towing the dense. The rest of the whole squad needs to be in it to benefit from it. Uh, Don't worry, man. Hitting on twos. Hitting on twos. Uh, and then I'll... Empress chosen this one. Might as well. Nice. Uh, sweet. So that's six hits. Uh, threes. Freeze. That's a freak. Uh, and then that is two misses. So that's four. AP, many. Uh, wounds. AP is minus... Two, sir. Oh, so I will get a save because I am in regular cover. Nope. So four die, but obviously the medic goes, not not you, sir. Not today. Not today. So the medic gets rid of one. Just so people back home understand how the medic rule works, it's the first failed save. You don't get to choose it, and it's once per turn. So sometimes you can try and get rid of it with a bit of spare firepower, and sometimes it, it, so you shoot and charge something. It, you know. But if you're custodians, you don't have spare firepower. That's true. <laughs> That's true, but it's just so people don't think, oh, do I get to do it in shooting and uh, combat? No, it's once per turn. Uh, so anyway, so he, so anyway, one person uh, has had his leg stapled back on. Uh, mm -hmm. So what's the next gun? Uh, the next gun is the... Bolter launcher, so this is five shots in on twos. Now, just to be clear, I've lost three guys so far, haven't I? Yeah, there we go. Good, I've got a little tally. Uh, and then we're going freeze again. So that ah, is uh, well. three more wins, AP minus one. So these will be five ups. Okay, so one more buys it. One did. And then I have the twin plasma projector. Oh, this looks scary. Uh, two D3. So that is, yep, two D3 shots. Let's see how many inches. Three. Three shots, automatically hit, strength six, so it'll be threes. Uh, three oh wounds, AP minus two, one damage each. Okay. I make one fail one, so I've lost five guys in total. Nice. So we'll remove those casualties and we'll be back in a moment. Not a bad display from Chungus Major, not, not too bad, bad. Not a bad display. How many is left? Five left. Well, he can, he can hopefully kill them. Uh, I think yeah. the fact that you should have been winning on twos with everything and then you were winning on threes did make a big difference. But we shall, uh, we shall hopefully he'll punch the rest to death. But we'll, be, we'll remove these casualties and we'll be back in a moment. 
Okay, and we are going to go with Chungus Miner next. Now, he is going to shoot the squad that's behind that wall and conga lining back to the officer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what weapons would you like to shoot first with Chungus Miner? So, he actually has two weapons. He has his um, Infernus Blaze Ooh. thing, which is uh, basically his 2 2 d an odd weapon saying thing in the codex. I'm sure it, GW normally it's, much more specific It's the than Infernus Blaze thingy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an orc weapon. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, 2d6 shots, it's a strength 6 flamer, AP minus 1, uh, 2 damage, strength 6, uh, that minus would, uh... MP minus 1, uh, AP minus 1, yeah. Strength 6, that would normally win me on 2, wouldn't it? Strength 6, it would, yeah. <laughs> Tim really likes your mind. I really like that Krieg one, uh, boys. So 2d6. <sighs> okay, now, you can use a CP, I and can. if you do, it'll reroll both dice. Because it's a single weapon, right? Look at that! Look at that, see? I am a man who knows how to re-roll number of shots with, as, <laughs> at all, as an 8th edition guard player. Well, a many edition guard player, but played ten, it for a long so time. So 10 shots. Uh, these ten guys, how hitting. many guys are in the... There'll be 10 in the squad. Uh, you'll be winning on threes, and then I will get a save. Yes. So, uh, winded on threes, so that is... That did save me two, rather um, than... Yeah. I will Empress Chosen one. So told you it saved me two. <laughs> uh, that's six six wounds, eighty minus one, one damage each. Okay, now um, there are. Let me just double check my placement here. There are four chaps in. Oh, well, there are six in total that are in cover. So we'll roll that and then we'll remove them. Um, so we're we've lost four guys, but obviously one gets medic, so we've lost three guys. So we'll remove those casualties in a moment. Yes, Do you have any more weapons? Uh, just one. He's got his dread spear. Dread spear? He's dread throwing spear. the spear at me. Uh, it's a it's a heavy two, strength eight, so it doesn't really matter against you to be honest. So uh, hitting on uh, twos because these guys aren't in the cover. No, 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 not the whole squad. So hitting on twos. Very nice. Uh, so two wound, uh, two hits. We're doing three. <laughs> Creek, baby! Creek, baby! Yeah. Oh, man. Anyone watching this who's been like, ah, oh, I don't think the math hammer works out in the Creek durability, you're wrong. It so works out. It's amazing. I love Creek. I love Krieg. <laughs> I love my Krieg. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely awesome, man. Krieg for life, baby. All Krieg right. For life, baby. So, I mean, obviously some people are going to say, oh, yeah, but Tom rolled a one there. Yeah, but that two would have killed one, and it didn't. And there were a bunch of twos before that would have killed me, which didn't. And there was a medic in there. So I probably stopped about, mm -hmm. I think in total, thanks to the Krieg, I probably stopped about four casualties there. How many dudes are left in that squad? I only lost three in total. Okay, so I might as well do the Guardian Spear shooting. Yes, so let me remove some casualties first, though, if you don't yes, mind. that is fine. All right, so Chungusus, even Minorius, these three guys here. Chungus Minorius of the Chungus species. Chungus Lesser. Chungus Lesser. The Chungus Lesser. These three guys here are going to fire their uh, regular, regular leg spears into mm -hmm. uh, the squad that was just uh, lost the casualties of the Dreadnought. Yes, and because uh, I'm in Salva's stance... Double shots? I get double shots, so they, oof, they all get four attacks each because they're in rapid firing. Wow. Uh, Yes, that is correct. I was just... That's doing... maths? That is maths. So hitting on twos. You're still hitting on twos because I've got hitting three guys twos. that uh, had to go out of the cover. Oh. That one's cock, so I'll do that one. In and case then... I was wondering where my casualties were, guys, I took them from the light cover people that were at the front just to make it easy. And then wounding on threes. Yeah. Uh, strength. Uh, threes four. anyway. Yeah, threes. Yeah. And then I'll use my Empress Chosen reroll on this one. So that is four, oh. uh, five, six, seven... Eight. Eight wounds. AP minus one. Okay, so I still have a few guys that are in cover. Mm -hmm. In fact, I should still have uh, four more guys that are in cover. So I'll have to do these first because I did a third. I was signing all my wounds to people mm -hmm. in cover uh, earlier in the turn. So I've lost two. Yep. Uh, I can't medic this one because I've already taken casualties. Uh, oh, no. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. And the last. I see. Okay, Ooh, that's sweet. just me being very lucky there. So I've lost three more guys. So I will have four left in the squad. Yes. So after the uh, shooting had finished uh, being done over here, I have just one guy left. Little mistake on my uh, end, guys. I forgot that that squad had taken some uh, initial casualties from uh, Tom shooting last turn. So that's why Cheater. it's only one left. Cheater. I know. Morning Glory exposed. 
Cheat. Indecent exposure. Anyway, uh, that is the... Uh, so that is that. We're going to do the rest of the shooting, the tanks, uh, off camera. And we'll be back in just a moment once we've... Uh, the dust has settled. Okay, and after all the dust had settled where it needed to settle, I know I use that phrase quite a lot, guys. Yes, you you know, but once it's all made a nice little carpet of dead skin cells on the battlefield, uh, the end result was the squad without psychic barrier is dead, and the squad with psychic barrier is alive with two people left. Uh, it just goes to show the difference in a five minimal save makes, really. Because yeah. uh, the other squad actually had more people in it, but it yeah. died. Yeah. Uh, now that did take seven minutes up to begin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now that did take um, two Clay's tanks to kill twelve guardsmen. Just goes to show how tough they breed them tough on uh, Kriegordia. <laughs> I eat Iliastus cannons for breakfast. Oh yeah, that's what they serve in our Morlian man. Yeah, that's what yeah. they serve. You might as well be cat chans. Yeah, it? yeah. <laughs> nah, that dead day she's terrible. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely awful. Yeah. Uh, so we're we going into the charge phase. Charge phase. Would you like to charge? Yes, so the bike captain is going to charge both the units. Are you just going to do this? Can uh, I... Yes, he's going to go like that. So I'll roll it anyway, and he scored a seven. I'm going to imagine that yes. without, well, no matter what your distance is, you have to do that so you can charge so both squads. So what he's going to do is he's going to spin in a circle and his bike with his spear out and hopefully clear a few dudes. I think I've seen that on an anime somewhere. I have it's seen a good, good seen tactic. Something. Yes, and then the Telemann is going to charge into those guardsmen. Uh, I did speak to Tim about this. The building in the centre... You can go through it. ...is classed as a forest. Yeah, it's just a forest. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to charge those uh, lone dudes and he gets a, a nine. A so nine. Well in. Now, we have uh, we do know this, that you do have to hit with and wound with every attack. Yes, because the Taliban in uh, close combat only has five, five attacks. attacks. He's stood in quite a like little coy pose there. He no, he's not got his legs far apart, has he? Mm. It's not a power pose. No, it's not. It's a humble pose. No, when I, so funny story. When I first assembled this model, um, I was very new to. I was gonna say, were you drunk? Model building, and so I posed him like he's just like, wait. Uh, ah, la what, what was that? What was that? You posing like what? Hey, hey la di da. Heroic pose because um, I didn't know how to make him. But then with the Achilles, so I went. That looks stupid. I'm going to do something a bit better. Heroic pose person. time. Tactical Heroic rock pose. and all that kind Tactical of Tactical rock, baby. Uh, and then the uh, three-man guard squad is going to charge the... Uh, one man? One man there. So okay. going to go in. Yeah, they got an eight. For those of you that didn't Loves see it. that, because I didn't point the camera at it, they, no, got, they got an eight. Tim isn't very professional at doing this. I'm not. Um, and then the Achilles is going to go into the... Uh, well... Whichever one is closer. There's a ten man. There's, there's, there's a, a well nine man technically. Nine man into the nine, and he gets. A should be in even with the minus two. You should be in. We'll measure that up and we'll move him in in a second. Yes. Uh, so all of the charges made contact, contact across the line, mm -hmm. fix bayonets, all that kind of good shit. All good right. Sheet. So you move your guy in, and we're back in. I tell you what, the real, the important one is the is the tank commander, is the tank commander, the bike commander. So oh, we'll yeah, we'll do him right on right camera. Right. Uh, and oh, we'll do chunk. We'll do the do the chunguses on camera as do, well. Do big chungus and little chungus and the uh, bike captain. Yeah. All right. We'll be back in just a moment. Okay. So the spinny twirly death man of doom is going to be putting four attacks, including the misericordia. Uh, not the misericordia. Four big attacks. Four uh, big attacks. And, and then everything else into the uh, the bigger squad behind uh, there. So it'll be five attacks into the other squad, and um, because. He has the Captain Commander straight, uh, which allows him to get plus two extra attacks when he's engaged with six or more yeah. models, essentially. So the four little attacks into the really annoying squad that has lived through... I'm surprised you not to put them all 14, in. 14 uh, yeah. things. He re-rolls for himself anyway, so they all hit. Okay. Uh, and then wounding... <gasps> right. Krieg. This is Krieg time. So I will be uh, re-rolling. Oh, baby! <laughs> Oh, this is big. This is big. Let me get some dice. It's only two saves. I've got a five button bottle save. Tom has collapsed on the floor. I'm going to get this on camera. I failed both. Yes! I'm going to use the CP. No! Please. Please. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> totally worth it, Brad. Totally worth it. Psychic barrier, baby. Uh, we will get rid of the medic. He's done his job now. There you go. I control that objective now. I've still got two CP left in the bank. Three CP left in the bank. <sighs> That's good, isn't it? <sighs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to do the rest of your attacks? Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Alright, rest of the attacks. Hit him on round four. Three yeah, rolling. That's my CP, guys, guys. Uh, so he hits all the times. These just kill me. Well, that one doesn't. <laughs> oh, and uh, oh, there's a medic in there. You've not so used one yet. One, so so just three. three. Just three Wee. dead. You ever seen a shield captain only kill three guardsmen? You have now. He only killed four guardsmen, he did. That's uh, quite frustrating for you, I imagine. <laughs> this is just such a troll fucking battle report. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, let, I'll do my attacks back off camera, but let's go. Let's go for Chungus Major. We go for Chungus Major here. Chungus Major. Come on, Chungus Major. <laughs> He needs to hit a wound all the time. He needs to hit a wound with everything. So he's hit it. Fair, I, could, uh, he's, I could start beans on my arse. Oh, That's he's not hit too on bad. twos. He's hit on twos. There we go. He hits all the times. Okay, now uh, you will kill me on threes. Yes. Okay, no. Yeah. 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 And... Yay! One man yeah. left. Yeah, you can still pass around. We will... Keep the man who's on the objective, which was this metal gun guy. And it is so, sweet victory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is really big because it means that I can use my 2CP to either continue to control this objective or continue to control this objective. But either way, it means that I'm not going to be down to one objective at the start of my turn, which is pretty nice. Unless anything here is obsec, by the way. No. I know Stark so do get some obsec stuff, right? Yeah. All right, so that is uh, those two units fought there. Give us a second and we'll go on to Chungus Minor. Okay, so we just did these three guys into the lone Vox man. Uh, just a strangled cry came over the radio before yeah. he was cut down. And then we've got Chungus Minor going into the nine-man squad near the back there. Yes. Okay, so how many attacks does Chungus Minor have? Chungus Minor has six attacks, hitting on twos. And it's D3 plus three damage. But it doesn't matter because you're all infantry. Yay! Right. So hitting on twos. Oh, well, that's a cock dice. It is indeed. Uh, Emperor's chosen this one because I get to use Okay, so you've hit everything. Every phase, I've hit everything. And then it's threes. It's threes. Hey. That's uh, three wounds. But guess what? And uh, that is. That is two wounds. No! <laughs> Medic baby! <laughs> Medic baby! It's so good! And then uh, they're, the rest, the, the two dudes are just absolutely obliterated. They just. They are obliterated, but that third guy. He just gets torn in half and the medic's like, it's all right, mate. Just give me a couple of paracetamol. Just give me a paracetamol. You're all right, get back in there. Get back in there. I've got some paracetamol from Morrison. <laughs> it's own brand, I'm afraid. That's why he can only rescue one at a time. He's not like an apothecary. but <laughs> it's. It, I, think this is a, I think this is a really good display of showing off the durability of the Krieg. Do you know what I mean? Like, every time there's just... When you're playing like a low-volume uh, shot army... Like Zodis, traditionally you would be, yes, I'm low volume, but every shot hits, every shot wounds, every shot kills. And then you go into this army and it's like, every shot hits, but then suddenly I'm dropping some some wounds and suddenly that, that you know, just one of those wounds is getting discarded. I think it really does mess with your mm. your damage output. Because normally Custodians, they just they just look at stuff and they just die. Yes. Um, especially guard. And there's also, so if Tim passes these two morale tests. It actually gives me 12 victory points. Then I do not score grind as well. Really? Yes. Right. So, um, can he stop me from falling back? Um, I can. You. <laughs> I will. I will spend one CP to cut that motherfucker down. Okay. <laughs> That's what I will do. Uh, and but you haven't got that stopping falling back thing active, do you? No, no, no. That, okay. That'll come into that's next turn if anything is. Okay. I'm going to auto pass. Um, this guy. Mm -hmm. So That's take two CP off me. So you're down uh, to what? Uh, two, one? one? Just the one. And then I'm going to roll a dice for Mr. Maltagun, man. Mr. Maltagun, he's got a Katachan head. They breed him tough on Katachan. All right, just need a one. Nah. It's not a one. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you do get... I do get grind them down. This you time. do get grind them down. Because you kill, what did you kill? Four units? I killed four and you killed three on my right. turn. Very good. And... Yeah, that was a pretty big if I got that one there. Um, but I didn't, so there we go. Yes. 
so that is the end of Custodius Turn 2. That was a big push from you. Genuinely, um, I found that most people, when they when they get hit by the guard, they actually go, oh, and instinctively you know, start feel, falling back. I think you've done absolutely the right thing and you've, you've pushed on into the jaws. Well, some may call me a madman, but I call me a... One man's madness is another man's genius. A sad golden boy, that's what I'd call it. You're a banana man. boy. A banana boy. Some people call me a madman. <laughs> Others call me a banana boy. I have boy. potassium, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, let's uh, go back into guard turn three, commander movement, and we're yes. back in just a moment. All right, so end of guard movement and command phase, turn three. Uh, the squad that was, there was two squads that I was engaged with the bike captain. Tom went, I'm going to use Cut Them Down. And I was cut like, Them Down. I was and like, we were like, this is going to do nothing, so we're not going to film it. But lo and behold, Tim, look at the dice tray. You rolled a, a six. six. And I hey. killed him on the way out. And it was completely not worth it, but it, I wanted to get a bit of revenge. It literally like, didn't was, matter. Really pissing me off throughout the whole... Yeah, it didn't matter because I did perfect his orders on both squads. Again, thanks to superior tactical training. And I can obviously splash it onto multiple units. So then uh, they both were able to fall back and uh, do actions. It's it, I thought it was just advance and do actions. And I checked and it's like, no, it's fall back or advance and still do actions. So I have special orders because I hold that objective. And I'm within 12 inches of an officer. So that means I've got 10 points, special orders. Yes, yeah, so Timothy can read. Hey! Hey! I was not elected to read. I was elected to lead. There we go. That's what the Lord Solar says. And that's his new fluff. Uh, so now, so then everyone, everyone else got take aim, guys. Everyone. We're just like, we're, just like, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot some stuff. Have a good time. We're gonna shoot some stuff. Now um, we are going into the second phase. Now we are gonna go for uh, trans hits night shroud on the uh, my command squad. It has gone off, and we're going to go for psychic barrier, and we're going to put that. On, uh, I better check my ranges here actually. Um, I think my psyche, slight move correction, guys, he's just going to go there instead. Cheat, cheat. And my psyche is going to put uh, trans hit on this, uh, no, a psych barrier on that squad, uh, which fails to go off anyway. So there we go. Yeah, I just, I keep, I keep moving him with the command squad because it, it, I keep thinking think he's, he's an astropath, part, but he's yeah. not part of it, the primary psyche. Um, so that is the uh, psychic phase. Uh, and then we will go into the shooting phase. Yeah, just ignore the massive uh, corks pile beneath the camera. I've had bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that a lot. So we're going to start off over here, and we're going to do this uh, Scion Kazakin squad even, and they are going to go into this squad. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my squad. melt this, this vehicle, this <laughs> the vehicle, vehicle. <laughs> now I'm, I'm going to put a uh, I'm going to put a two melt guns. Two plasma guns into here. I'm going to throw a crack grenade at it. And then all the little guns are going to go into this guy. Okay. So I've got uh, two plasma guns. One hit and a reroll. Two hits. And two hits. And then I shall need some more dice. I have foolishly not brought enough. Talk amongst yourselves back home. That's why I'm grabbing these dice. We'll do it live. All right. And then we will have... Uh, Two more plasma guns, so that's four hits. And then we shall toughness of a of a floaty boat tank. Uh, seven. Three is to wound. Uh three wounds. I have no re-rolls to wound over here. Okay. So just AP three wounds. A B four. So this will be on a five up and vulnerable save. Five up and vulnerable saves. Uh, so that's save one. So he takes four damage. Four damage, yeah. Four damage. So he is down to twelve. Oh Ooh. no, uh, he's down to We can check in a second, it's fine. Yes. Two miles of guns. With a re-roll, thanks to Castellan. Two hits. No wounds! And I can't re-roll either one of those. God, Zooks, that's... Do I want to see CP there? I've got two. You've got a five up. Nope, it's not worth it. Uh, crack grenade. Re-roll. Ah, oh, it's all gone to pot. Uh, so I've got two... Uh, I've got one hotshot last pistol, and then I've got two guys with rifles. Three guys with rifles, I should say. Foxman, two regular guys. Yep. Uh, now I've got a reroll there. No. And now we're wounding you on sixes, I believe. Uh, yes. Hey, there we go. What's the strength of these, sorry? Strength three. Yeah, sixes on both of them. Then. So sixes, uh, AP minus three, one damage six. each on your bike, Captain. Yep, yeah, six. Six saves, AP minus one, so three up, yes. AP minus three. AP minus three, you'll say. 
So uh, two, two go through damage. Just one. Just one. So he is down to I mean, seven wounds. Seven wounds. Okay. Wow, they have nine standard They have taste. nine standard wounds, sir. Yes. All right. So that is the first squad. I will be doing the next Kazakhan squad in a moment. Okay. So the next Kazakhan squad will do exactly the same thing. So we'll go for two plasmas with a reroll. Nope, so that actually has killed himself. Oh, I forgot my hotshot sniper in the other squad. I'll be back in a oh, second for that. that. Uh, two hits with those plasmas. Now, these ones are in reroll range, reroll ones, but they don't need it. So, three saves on your floaty boat tank. <coughs> these are two damage each. Uh, AP? A million? AP a million, yeah. Oh. That's six damage that's six gone through. Damage. So, he's down two, four wounds. Four wounds. God, zooks. All right. Uh, so we'll go for the... By the way, just to declare this now, I'm going to put both of the snipers into the character rather than into the tank. Okay, okay. These are two mounted guns. One hit, one uh, fail. That is a hit. Thanks to take aim. That's two wounds. You need to make both of these. We don't need to make both of these. on the tank. It's on the tank, but uh, I'm not within melter range, even with my extended melter range. So uh, take uh, one. One. Uh, no CP. ACP. The... It's damage D6. D6 damage. Do I just risk it? Oh, you spent your CP to cut me down. I oh, did. Oh, no. no. Go on, roll it. Hey. hey he's still alive. Do I want to use alive. my... I'm going to use my CP if that's okay. Oh, no. There you go, he's gone. And he's dead! He's dead! Does he explode? Hey! He uh, I, don't, I don't think... We're going to have to check this one. I don't think one's ever this. exploded. Um, We're back in a moment. Okay, so the explosion is within six inches, and it is D3 mortal D3 wounds. Mortal. Uh, you are in range of the Kazakin, the uh, guys do the action, and the uh, captain. Who would you like to roll against first? I will go against my captain first. Against your own captain! So he takes... Two. Two mortal wounds, but he has a four-up invulnerable save against him. Ah, so he, ah. take, yeah, he takes both of them. So he's down to five wounds. Whee! Nice. Uh, and then the um, regular one, legs. Regular dudes take three. Three. Guys, a kid. Uh, take one. Take one. So you actually statistically did average there. Just got an average of two on every yeah. on every death one. Uh, okay, so we'll remove those casualties and we'll be back in a second. Yeah. Anyway, enough anyway. about balls. And, <laughs> <laughs> so then we've got uh, the littles of going into the character. So we've got... The, I'm totally shit off my game now. Uh, so I've got the first, the heart shot sniper from the last squad that I forgot to do. Uh, that is the brutal strength squad. So that one will hit with take aim. And then I've got the other sniper rifle, which will also hit. Brutal strength squad being the one with the chainsaw, guys. Now I'll be wounding you on fives. Yes. No. No wounds? Do you have a reroll? No. Uh, one of them might have done, but I'm not going to worry about it. I did them at the same time. Mercy. There Mercy. you go. I wouldn't have got a reroll for ones anyway, so it's fine. Uh, so then I've got uh, three hotshot rifles mm -hmm. and two hotshot pistols going into your uh, man here. I have a reroll. They've all hit. I feel like a custodies player. But also well, a guard you player. Because half your army's not dead. That's true. I feel like... <laughs> Look at that, that's, that's three wounds, that is. Three wounds on... That's pretty nice, eh? That's pretty nice. Three wounds, AP? Uh, many three. Many threes. Uh, fours, I mean. Uh, so, fails two. Damage? Just the one. Uh, so... Down to three. Takes, yeah, down to three. Survive. <sighs> Survive! Survive! This Scion squad is going to put everything into him, and then we'll do the rest off camera. Okay. Yes. Double plasma. Two hits because of take aim. Double plasma, two hits, and an extra hit because of shock troops. Uh, these are in range of my real ones to wound banner. I don't need it, but I only make three of them. Now these are AP4, because I take aim. sweet victory. Oh, 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 oh. One wound left. Survive! I didn't hear no bell. Survive! All right, volley guns. With a reroll. No. With an explosion. Oh no! I love. I mean, you just see it on camera, like when you see the scions go. It's like, oh, there's an explosion there. They just do more damage. They're just built different. <laughs> One, no two, three, and a reroll. Four wounds. 
Four wounds. Four wounds, sir. Of minus uh, three. Yes. On your bike, Captain. Oh. 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 <laughs> that cut them down has cost you if it's, the, if it's not in the tray, right? It's not in the... Right? If it's not on the tray, oh. then it's in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye, sweet prince. My sweet prince. There we go. The command echelon has been just deleted. Delete. That's what's happened. Your leadership is lacking. <laughs> <laughs> you are superior in you, you are like superior it. creation. <laughs> you are superior in only one respect. Dying. Dying. <laughs> <laughs> that is honestly one of the best scenes of any team. No, we've done that twice. Yeah, That's it's so time. good, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, so that that's that that's just that little platoon, man. That's just three squads of Kazakin, man. That's oh, all really? it is. I mean, it's yeah. crazy just kind of like psh, psh, blowing them up. Uh, we'll do the rest off camera. Basically, guys, I'm going to be doing a bunch of shots to try and finish off Chunga Minus, Chungus Minus, and the lesser Chungus over here. And then that will probably be my turn. Uh, I may charge this into here for Talols, but also maybe because it might get me an extra uh, Did you just boots on the ground talols? for Talols. I, I has Chesburger. I has oh Chesburger. <laughs> there we go, oh boys. Anyway, uh, before before we uh, quit, uh, if you would like to um, uh, give me some uh, praise or sympathy or uh, condolences, uh, please let me know in the comments. No, don't do that. He's a custodian's play. Does everything he gets? Does everything he gets? <laughs> nah, man. Uh, it's um. Yeah, no, no, what's we'll do? We'll do the rest of camera, and then uh, yes, as always, guys, let us know what you, how you how you enjoyed the battle report down in that comment section. All right, so once we had finished all of the shooting, this platoon over here had fired everything into the chunga minor chunga chungus minor. Chungus that was minor, it. Chungus Unfortunately, minor. he did go down, and then the regular that came from all the Kazakin and the Scions. And then the regular guard were like, all right, we're going to try and finish these custodies off. And they didn't quite manage it. Tom just got a few saves in when he needed it. Um, I think you, you made four out of four crack grenade saves. Yeah, 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 So yeah, that yeah. was pretty good. Um, even though they were AP minus two, just sometimes yeah, those four ups just come in. Sometimes they don't. Uh, just come in, yeah. um, so now that's the end of my shooting phase. Now, I'm actually going to go for a bit of a wacky one here, guys. I'm going to go for a charge with one of my squads over here because um, it should take down your banner. Is there a banner on there? There's no banner. It'll just mean that you'll only control one at the start of the turn. Uh, yeah. Yes, one, yes. Yeah, so we're going to go for a charge. Got yeah, a and of... you also dealt a wound to the Teleman with a Ripagan. Oh, yes. Nork, Nork's Nork. like, I'm the biggest one round here. Ducker, 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 ducker. I should paint it like a big orc and have him as a. Yeah. Yeah. Or your bulgar is that orc. So. Oh, yeah. Um, so this is going to be the charge, and we're going to do the squad that's in the dense. Onto that chap there. So that minus two to your it will be. He's failed, and then we'll go for it. no. It's not worth. It's not that big a deal. And then these guys are going to try and go in there as well. They won't make it either. Uh, and that'll be it. That's it. I'm not. Oh, there is. I've got two CP to spend. If you want to reroll. Uh, I just don't think it's worth it. It's fine. I mean, it denies you four victory points, but that's okay. I don't know. I think I'm doing okay. On, I don't think it's worth a CP on my end. I think you're doing fine on it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth CP on my end. I think I've got a potential that I'm going to be spending quite a lot next turn yes. on like on like this unit, for example. Yes. So I'd rather keep them in the bank. Yes. Very um, good. Very good. Yeah, that was just more of a nice to have rather than a I I need it. Uh, so <laughs> we will be. Uh, that's the end of my turn. We shall go into the custodies. Turn three. Uh, turn. Three years. Oh, yes. All right, the custodian's turn three movement phase is over. Big Chungus has stuck his gun out of the window there, and he's going to start lighting up some guardsmen, and then he's coming over to show Nork who is the biggest and the most Chungus. And then we've got the even lesser Chungus, because these guys don't have a cool uh, red cape guy in the squad, so that's why they're even lesser. Oh. Uh, and they are coming over to also have a little Barney. How tough is the Dreadnought? I think we're about to find out. Yeah. Uh, and then the remains of the regular lesser Chungus over here are just holding that objective. We're doing a little banner. Yeah, you, just, you just move back and raise the banner just in case you want to charge me next. I might do. Fix bayonets, lads. Get amongst Fix them. Minutes. And then he stayed there just having a great time. Yeah, he's just vibing. 
He's just having a good vibe. Great vibes. Great vibes. All right, so that is the movement. That is the command. Yes. You're on one CP. I should be on three CP. Yes. Uh, and we will now go into your mm -hmm. shooting phase. Yeah, so I'll just... Okay, we're in your shooting phase. Yes. What do you want to do next? Well, I might as well do all the shooting on the Might as well do it all on camera, yeah. Uh, not so the Guardians in the centre are going to fire into the command squad. Okay, uh, now... You're not character protected, are you? No, not at this yeah. point, no. Okay, I do, their strength of their weapons? Uh, four. Uh, go nuts, that's fine. Go nuts, so they're hitting on... Three. Fours because of trans hit, Night Shroud. Fours, baby. Have you ever seen, a custodian? Have you ever seen a custodian hit on a four before? I know, disgusting. Absolutely. They will be taken out back and shot. Are we on fives? Uh, fives, two wounds. Okay, I've got uh, Nork who is who has to take it. He's on a minus one. Uh, okay, that cancels out my cover, so two four ups. Okay. Fair one. And a five up feel no pain. Mm -hmm. Two damage. He reduces damage by one. Nork does. Right. So he's <laughs> right then. <laughs> right, how many wins does he have? Uh, he's got six left. He starts at seven. Right. Okay. It's quite uh, chunky. Uh, so that's quite nice. That's quite nice. Um, and then so he's right, taken then, one. Uh, the... put, it's not the right colour, but I'll put it next to him anyway. That's okay, fine. Yeah. Um, it was at this uh, moment that Tom realised why this is called the unkillable up. command. So the squad. twin plasma projector from the Telemon Dreadnought, and basically everything from the Telemon Dreadnought is going to go into that ten man squad there. That's out in the open because because reasons. Because reasons, yes. So uh, two heavy D three. So that is uh, three, four, five, five shots. That hit automatically. Wounded on threes. Because of Krieg. Because of Krieg. Um, APs. I'll reroll this one, might as well. So that is five at AP. And we'll tell you now, AP minus two, one damage. Go straight through. So it would be five, goes to four because yep. of the medic. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll lose four guys. It's four guys. And then the uh, next one is uh, Just my... Just a little four there, guys, so that yep. we know how many we've lost. Is the burst cannon heavy six? So this guy's hitting on twos. The burst uh, cannon. The burst cannon. You have fucking towel. Um. Yes. <laughs> yes. I. My guys are just fish people in suits. Nice. In nice gold armor, and then freeze for this one again. God, have the towel got hands on there on some custodians. Oh, yeah, I think the custodians would be forever dishonored. Uh, that's three wounds at AP minus two, one damage each. If the towel got hold of the three gear, they'd probably go. Hmm, this isn't very good. I think. <laughs> do you think the custodian's gear law wise is pretty advanced? Not uh, tabletop wise. I think wise, it's, or... it's old terror technology, so it's it's very advanced. I'm pretty right. sure. Like ceramite is meant to be the toughest armor in the law, but um, in the game it's uh, paper. So um, <laughs> you're not angry enough. You don't. You're not contemptuous. <laughs> They're not well eaters. So. They're not contemptuous. Uh, yes. So that is how many did I just kill? You've killed seven, seven in total. So you've got your harpoon gun now. Harpoon. It's the it's the the bolt launcher. It's the harpoon gun. Hitting on two. You're going in a bigger hits. boat. And wounding on threes. Indeed. And that is uh, three more wounds. AP. Uh, AP uh, minus one. Okay, I might, might make it. I don't. You two a man. Wipe out the squad. Hey. Hey. Oh, I'm getting angry. I've lost a squad in one go. He's lost a squad in one go. All right, so that full squad is wiped out. Yes. So uh, let me just remove those casualties. We'll be back with your tank shooting, and yes. then that will be on to the charge phase. Okay, we have got the clay. I just realized we've got a dice tray major. And dice tray minor, and they're the same shape and the yes. same colour. Daddy dice tray and uh, son. Don't dice. speak to me or my son ever again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so the Clady's tank is going to go into the small squad uh, at the back. There's only four guys there. Four guys. Do you want to punish these scions? Um, I think it's actually better for me to just pile everything into those four guys because if I kill them. I've no, just to give you an idea. Yes. I have no medic. Yes. And I have no vulnerable save on that unit. Oh. So you may, do you want to have a little think about how you want to split your uh, shots? No, so what I'm going to do then is going to put the twin-linked bolt cannon into them. Okay. And then I'm going to put the other eight shots into the uh, little silence squad then. Nice. Because uh, basically I'm trying to kill two more units and then I'll score grind for the end of the turn. Yeah, you need to kill two, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll start with the bolt cannon, so that'll be hitting on twos because I don't believe they're of skill. Nope, nope, you're no. good. Hitting on twos, all hits. Nice. Good start, baby boy. Really Let's threes. go. Threes. And that is a, a drop one. Um, uh, AP? 
AP minus two. Right, you get him. Oh, sweet. Okay, I was going to remember he's chosen it then. No, no, you've oh. got him. There's only four. That's what I mean. Like, look at the difference between having a medic and not having a medic. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and, and having a field of pain or having a, a barrier and not well, having he, a barrier. He hasn't really cured the rest of them in that pile. Uh, but, um, it's it's getting, pile. It's getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the uh, eight shots into the Scions. Uh, I'll use the Emperor's Chosen for that one. So that's eight uh, hits. And Strength. Uh, this is uh, seven. Okay, you're wounding on twos, but you've rolled a few ones, unfortunately. Oh, are they? Are they... They're not Krieg. <gasps> yeah, it's only the regular infantry that are so durable. My God! <laughs> a weapon to surpass men. My eyes here. have been opened. Uh, did you have an Empress chosen? Uh, uh, no, 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 I just I used it to the hit roll. So five? So that's, uh, five, AP minus, uh, I do believe it's three. Right, that's three. That's three, uh, five dead. Yes. That's the back rank, just... Finally. In fact, I'm going to have to Use kill... I'm going to have to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to kill these four. I'll tell you what, I'll lose the Vox just because mm -hmm. I've got a Castell in there. And that lets me keep everyone else. The first the first of my Scions have died. All of this is just Krieg. Krieg. All this is Krieg. Krieg! Krieg boys do what the Kriegs love. They just die. die. <laughs> Did someone say die for the Emperor? <laughs> Uh, so I'll start with the Talibon then, so I might as well do my charge phase. Okay, some charges. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do a little cut there and we'll be back in a charge phase just one second. Charge phase. All right, charge phase. That was quick. That was for yeah, you was back at home. Yes. Charge was quick here as well. To be yes. Fair. All right. We didn't talk about anything. We <laughs> just went around <laughs> and shot. It's just good to have that. <laughs> you know, just good to have it's it. It's a nice little cut. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Telemon. Yes. Telemon into Nork the dead dog. He's not the dead dog. He is dead dog. Uh, five inches minus two. That's three. I don't. I think you might get within four inches. Uh, should we measure it up quickly? Uh, we can measure it up quickly. Otherwise, I'll just spend the CP and I'll do it again. Are you within four inches of Nork? Uh, yeah, I mean, within three. Hey, so there that's... you go. Hey. Just move it to the edge. Don't worry too much about getting it exact. So obviously, the terrain's a bit funky. All oh, my friends are dead. What do we do with the edge? <laughs> <laughs> right, and so then the custodian. And then the custodian guard. They're going to charge into the old dead dog as well. Okay. Yes. So these guys are going to go fall. They're not going to make it. They'll need spend... more. Oh, uh, yeah, because you are in the desert. You can do about it. Do it. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll yes. do it. All right, I'm going to preemptively declare now that Cadia stands, and that means that I am now transhuman physiology. Are you sure this is this is what remains of Cadia? <laughs> little yeah, know, little right? bits of. Uh, they keep saying Cadia stands, but all I can say is uh, Mordia stands. Although Cadia people stands. at home, I learned today that, K that uh, Tim does not care about the law, so. No, I don't care about 30k law. So give him shit in the... Uh... No, I don't need to read 57 books to know that Erebus was a bad man and uh, Lorgar's a, a wuss. I love and, Lorgar. And... Um... I'm a word bearer. You love Lorgar. I'm a bearer of the words. So. Okay, who... Okay, guys. Please... You decide who to take the piss out of. Someone I'm bold. who How doesn't can I not love law, you... Someone who doesn't care about the thirty k law. Who's worse? Someone who doesn't care about the thirty k law, or someone who does but is a lawgar fan? <laughs> Let us know down in the comment section below. Yeah. So that is your charge phase. Uh, tell you yes. what, let's just, if you know what we're doing, we'll just keep yeah, it going. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it live. The Teleman catastrophe. Teleman. Teleman is going to put his um, five attacks into. Uh, Nork Nork dog, dog, right, you're hitting on fours because trans hit is still on. Uh, trans hit, baby. Uh, so I'll re-roll this one. Okay. So that's four hits. And you're winning on fours because of Cadia stands. Oh, is that your transhuman? Yeah. Fuck me. Okay. Hey, let's go. That is four, eight, twelve damage. That no, goes no, no, down no, no, to no. nine. I got a four plus invulnerable save. Fuck. Okay, that goes down to. How many is that? That is eight damage, goes down to six. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, use a CP in this phase. Oh. Hey. Okay, six damage. So Nork has got, uh, he's taken one, so he's got six wounds left. So we've got a five at feel no pain on Nork. And he makes two of them, which means he's only taken four wounds, which means that he's got uh, two left. That's pretty good. So that was how many he had taken. That's how many he's got left now, guys. Um, look at that, Nork just... Look at that, boys. Nork just tanking a fucking... What is it? Look a Telemon. That beefy boy. Ah, he's a a... Telemon Cassatus, which is like... He's 70 he's points. He's 60 points, Nork. He's normally... He fucking just punches something. He just goes... And gets yeah. obliterated. He punched Nork and he's like... Oh, Nork's like... Was that a fly, sir? 
Yarrick punches harder. Yeah, he punches harder, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the, I'll move on to the uh, custodian guard. Uh, I should be on... You're on one CP. One CP, yeah. So you cannot interrupt. No, unless no. you can interrupt on an objective. Nah, nah, man, so, I'm nothing. Okay, so the custodian that. guard hitting on two. Nope, they're hitting on fours. <laughs> they're hitting on fours. <laughs> There's a three there. There's a three there. There's a three there. That's five that go through. We do have fours. <laughs> uh, that is not enough. That's two wounds. Luckily, they have their misericordials. Maybe minus three. Two damage apiece. Uh, so I fail one. And then down to one, so... One damage apiece. Five for no pain. No. Hey. Nork's on one wound left. Nork is on one wound left. He's gonna come. Oh. Is he not dead? Nope. Oh my. And this, guys, is why you take Nork over a regular bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, I know you can give him a two plus regular save, but this is why you take Nork because of that extra Three more rune. attacks. Two games in a row, that extra rune has saved my ass. It's a miss. It's a fit hit. It's a okay, hit. Two hits and then four. fours. And you I... strength five. Yeah, I'm tough. It's transhuman. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. So one wound, AP minus two, one damage. He's okay. The dead dog! The dead dog! Yeah, baby! So durable, man. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so durable. Night Shroud and. And the uh, KD stands. Very double, double trans human, trans hit. It's tasty, boys. You're doing breathing exercises over there to suppress yeah, the rage. Yeah. It's not rage, I'm just like... <laughs> God, why, why does a unit that costs... Why does a mind look like that? <laughs> why does a unit, the custodian guard, which costs 135 points base before any upgrades, only have... Three, and they have four attacks each, but one of them's shit. <laughs> three of them are decent. It's just the points cost. It's just... The, this unit does cost me, need, with, with the primary cycle buffing them, it costs 195 points for my score. Okay, yeah, but the Telemon costs 275. <laughs> so that is a combined total of 400, what, 400 points yeah. going into that. And Nork's like, hey. Nork's like, oh, I'm still alive, sir. Nice. I am on Ready. So I will score three. Uh, All right. So is that then your turn then? I do believe so. Nork's going to punch you back. Yes, he is. Which, who are you going to punch? Well, uh, he's got six base and he gets one for... I'm going to punch the custodian guard. Uh, they are obsec, so you're removing off the obsec. If I finish you off, yeah. So everything's going to go into them. I'll, I'll do my parlors and stuff. I pile an extra three inches, you know, thanks to Nork. So I get six inch pile, I think. So, I think. Right. Uh, so Nork's going to hit you on twos. I hit you on twos, look at that. Uh, you can't re-roll though, because I am in Cap Tardis. I don't have any re-rolls. Well, that suits me not very well then. Uh, I'm... Oh, I've dropped a dice. You uh, have dropped a dice. Could you get that for uh, me? Uh, oh, uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Ugh. There you go. It's in your contract. Yes, yes. <laughs> Take the dice over. It's very specific minor specific, clause. Specific says, uh, Tom must get on his knees for Timothy. No. Uh, no. Uh. No, not, not in that way. Um, so, I've hit with everything, and I wound you on threes. It is. Okay. I didn't get any sixes, sadly, because sixes would be mortal wounds. But I've got four. These are AP minus two, and they are two damage each. Okay, so four up in vulnerable saves. So That's okay. One. That's okay. Second one. Uh, hey. Hey, Save them all, baby. Ah, I'll save a Nork one. It's an ooge knife. It's, ooge knife. it's an ooge knife. All right, I've got an officer with a power sword. Yes. Hits twice. Got a regular guy with a power sword. Hits non times. I almost said non, so that wouldn't have been appropriate. <laughs> it's uh, non And then no wounds. And then I'm not even going to worry about doing the other attacks because they're just like three rifle butts, so don't worry about it. Okay, that is the... Um, that's the fight. So I didn't do anything back to you, sadly. Bit of a shame. But uh, I was hoping Nork would do would like punch the lights out of one. But there you go. <laughs> he just looks at a telephone and just fuck off right in yeah. the chest. And kills him. That would have been amazing. He can't quite do it, <laughs> I don't think. No, um, he's got thirteen wins left. The Talamon, so ah, he's having a great time. He is. He's having. A, he's having a wheel of a time. A wheel of a time. All right. So that is turn three for the custodies. I think what we'll do is uh, we will do a summary turn four for the guard and then a summary turn four for the custodies, and then we shall see where we are at. Yes. So uh, when when we come back, dear viewers, after this particularly long segment, we will be at the end.
friend of God turned four. Yes. All right, end of guard turn four. We have advanced across the line and we put all of our firepower into that big old, is it a Telemon dreadnought? It did take... It took all of it. It pretty much took all of it. The one thing that I had, I had this one Kazakhin squad left that uh, that could see the, the custodian guard. So I was able to kill two of them with the Kazakhin squad, but it pretty much took everything else. I did advance onto this uh, objective here and tore the banner down, but I wasn't able to to charge. Uh, and that was uh, that was pretty much my turn. Everyone had take aim, in case you're wondering what I was doing, apart from this squad over here, which had forwards for the Emperor. Again, long range, perfect orders for the win. Um, and that is, uh, that's basically it. I failed to get Night Shroud off this turn, but I was able to get Psychic Barrier off on this squad holding the objective here. And that is pretty much my guard turn. Um, I've been doing very well on my points. Thanks to uh, the banner, I have been able to get um, have been able to get lots of boots on the ground. I have done special orders three times and Inflexible Command is chugging along nicely as it does. Um, so it's all sort of going in the right direction for the guard. And as you can see, guys, we've still got loads of bodies on the board here going into the custodies. Uh, sort of uh, final uh, turn four, not quite final turn, but they you've got you've got two custodian guard left, and you've got your big tank. Big tank. Uh, I think the, sort of at this point, just sort of I know we've been doing a little bit of analysis as we've been going along. Uh, for me, I think this has gone, uh, in, it's gone kind of how I expected it to go, but not in terms of like how the result was going to be, in terms of where my casualties were going to be in my list. Um, I've been very aggressive with the Krieg, which has forced Tom to have to deal with them because if he doesn't then he's going to start losing his objectives and he's done a great job I was almost on that turn one you've actually done a great job of keeping me off that turn after turn um, and so if you actually look at my what's left on the board for me guys uh, I've pretty much got all of my Scions and my Kazakin left apart from me. I've taken a few casualties here and there. Most of the casualties have killed themselves with plasma even with rerolls uh, but then if you look at the Kree casualties I've actually only got on this side of the board there are no Kree Guardsmen left and over here, we've got sort of three squads who, you know, have taken a couple of casualties. So uh, we've definitely taken vast majority of my casualties on the Krieg, which is if you play this list properly, that's what it's meant to do. Uh, so that was all my turn four sort of thoughts. Um, and yeah, that's it. So we will go into the summary turn, turn four for the custodians. Yes. And then uh, we'll see where we're at. We might do a little turn five full summary if it's going to be quite a quick one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we final will have thoughts. final thoughts. So there we go, guys. We're getting into the, the twilight stages of this battle report. Let's see what Tom can do with his uh, remaining Main models. Forces. At the end of the Custodes turn four, it looks like this. We have the Lesser Chungus, the last remaining member of that squad with his beautiful red cape. He came out here. He shot up a couple of the uh, remaining Creek boys. He charged, he sliced, he diced. And after the dust had settled, the body parts had fallen to the ground. There was, and morale had taken place. There was yes. but a single Voxman left, which is pretty big because that Voxman living did deny Tom Grind. And you know what else denied Tom Grind? The fucking medic. Because he'd be dead. That guy would be gone. He'd be gone without the medic. God, you love this medic. I man. fucking have a hard on for this medic, man. <laughs> it is great. Uncomfortable feeling all up in my trousers. <laughs> and then we had the Caladius, the tank of Caladius. Yeah. Uh, it was able to kill the uh, remaining two Scions and then also was able to do some damage on this Kazakhin squad uh, here. The uh, Then the custodian guard that was... Was in the middle of the board. Yeah. He came running in, you know, Naruto style, and uh, one of the sounds turned around and just melted his face up with a flamer. Yeah, you overwatched. I overwatched. Yeah. You didn't expect that, did you? No, no. I haven't overwatched all game. No, no. But when I, I don't always overwatch, but when I do. But when I do. It's like me, we've cut them down. When I do, it, it's, it works. It works, yeah. <laughs> um, the reason I did that is just I, for, for, for fun, and then I realised it's actually quite a good. It's a good thing. It actually did deny you some points. Um, so because of the custodian guy here uh, buying the farm, and because of the medic over here, yeah. it meant that Tom didn't get grind, yeah, yeah. which was a big, big bit of a surprise, actually. Uh, yeah, because uh, I thought I would have killed uh, three units, but uh, apparently not. So. Apparently, that's, that's not the way we apparently do things. Apparently not, no. Actually, I don't think... Yeah, and in fact, even if that guy had run away, because I overwatched this guy, I still think you wouldn't have got it. Because it killed it. That's another unit loss, isn't it? 
Probably. Doesn't matter either way, but... What did I CP? I don't know. You might have a CP left. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can roll it if you like. No, no, no. It's all okay. good. It's all okay. good. That's fine. Good. We're doing a quick turn. It's okay. Yeah, quick turn. Oh, that's fine. Um, all right. So that is the end of the custodies turn number four. Now, at the end of uh, the beginning of my turn, I'll, I'll score it because I'm holding this objective and this command squad here is conga lining back onto this objective. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be my eight points. And then basically, um, we can kind of work my score out now because I'll, I'll, I'll probably max out boots on the ground. I'll make sure I um, move, move someone over here. I'll have someone hanging around in the middle. Uh, I'll, I'll kill, kill that guy, well. which lets me get the objective. Yes. Um, I'm not going to be able to special orders over here, so that'll be my point. So, yeah, really, I don't even need to. I don't even really need Do you to, think you to can shoot kill anything. The, uh, I don't think so. I mean, I'll give it a go. But so yeah, what we'll do, we'll do turn five as a summary, yes. and we'll see. Because uh, obviously, if my turn five just I kill both things, then there is no custodian. There five, is no custodian, and that makes it super quick. Yes. So we'll be back in just a moment, and uh, end of turn five summary, and yes. then final thoughts. So at the end of turn five and the end of the game, the guard infantry wave continued to surge forward. The Scions, the Kazakin and the Dreadnought securing the middle objective, the banner of the Emperor being raised in the middle of the board in the shattered ruined house. Who knows why we've lost over a hundred men to try and capture this ruined uh, hablock. But the order came down. And when the Emperor orders, the Victory guard obeys. Victory, yeah, the guard obeys, man. Uh, this platoon, which has spent the whole game trying to push on this one objective. This is like has the, finally done it. It's finally, it's taken literally, I mean, I do love that aesthetic with the guard. It's like the Iwo Jima has been raised. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I do love that aesthetic, how literally it took like three pushes from the guard. Yeah, like, yeah, we'll exactly. get him this time, boss. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then over here, we had a little cheeky push to try and uh, mm -hmm. get some guns on the uh, on the final uh, uh, um, custodies unit. Them. But Tom just, uh, just passed the saves. Very impressively, didn't uh, didn't even need any help doing it. Uh, and then in return, Tom was able to, uh, he was sort of going for some extra... Um, no prisoners. No prisoners points. And the easiest one to do for that was this little five-man squad. Even though I had psychic barriered them, he uh, just a firepower from these things. It is still very impressive. And he was able to just uh, just gun them down. So that was, uh, that, was my, that was his turn five. And so as a summary, the guard do manage to control the middle of the board. You know, we have, it's... It's not, a, it's not as super fast as this, but it does grind forward over five turns. And so we have managed to get into, you know, uh, three out of the four table quarters. And we've got the centre. And we have managed to push the custodians back to yes, their it's home It's a very objective. battle of the Somme list, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, it's, it's battle of the Somme, but I do really like the fact that it's got those elite units in it, like the yeah. Kazakin and the... And the it's science. really nice being able to put the plasma and the melter in the infantry. Mm. That's really nice. Yeah, I mean, the Krieg boys didn't actually do that much damage to you, but you couldn't ignore it's just them. It's tough to get through. Yeah. So the final, we'll do the final score, and yes. then we'll do the final thought. So the final score, Mr. Tom, do you have it? Yes. So to the custodies, it was 72 points. That's very respectable. And then to the uh, Imperial Guard, it is 94 points. <sighs> so it's a very... Very. That's a big. It's a big, big number. How was that? That's a very big number. That's a very big number. Yeah, so, uh, Tim maxed on primary. He got ten for special orders, fourteen for inflexible command, and boots on the ground. He got fifteen. Yeah. Since the new codex with the new the way the new command squad and the dreadnought works, I've actually been maxing that fairly. Mm. Fairly reliable. You have to build into it. Not every. I know there's. If I run my hybrid yeah. guard list, I struggle to get past ten points on boots on the ground. Yeah. But this list seems to do it a little bit better. Uh, and then for your own points, you uh, almost me, maxed uh, some of them, didn't you? It was uh, 34 on primary. Very nice. Um, razor banners, I got uh, five on. I, I really mm. didn't go for razor banners this game. I thought I could kill a few more infantry squads in the first couple of turns. So I was relying on basically placing the banners down at the end of the game. But it didn't go that way. Um, that damn medic. That damn medic. <laughs> Those damn medics. <laughs> uh, and then no prisoners, I got 14. And grind them down, I got 9 because I got unlucky in the last two Couple turns. Of, yeah. I'd just, I, 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 if, if, if turn forward it go, went a bit better, I probably could have got 
Another three at least. Yeah, another three at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that the 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 no prisoners uh, was very respectable, uh, as you should do against this list. Well, I bloody hope so. Yeah, <laughs> but I would say not again. Not to, you know, people are going to get bloody sick of this by the end of it. But yeah. if I didn't have the medic, yeah, you would have got easily a lot, a lot more kills, which would have meant you would have maxed it. Yeah, as simple as that. So. Uh, it might have cost me 60 points to do it across the army, but those mm. 60 points did deny an no prison point. 60 prison. points in a guard army is nothing. It's less it's, than, yeah. It's absolutely nothing. Less than the price of a squad. Mm. Uh, and then, obviously, grind, similar sort of thing, like, you know, having that extra durability meant you were really having to work very hard yeah. for it. And then it, Banners was just was this, this platoon over here just yeah. constantly pushing on to yeah. it. It was like I brought... Uh, so, so today, I, 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 I didn't know what list I was going against. Mm. Uh, so I brought like a list which I thought, oh, well, if Tim brings vehicles, I can deal with vehicles. If Tim brings infantry, I can deal with infantry. I didn't realise that the Krieg uh, were basically so good at just, like, the mini transhuman on them is, 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 is brilliant. Um, and, like, so the Hurricane Bolters, I thought, would do a lot more work than they did, so I pushed them out. I expected them to clear two squads in a turn. Mm. Um and then my bike captain declared two sports squads in the turn because I was going to give them extra attacks, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so then I would have kill, killed four squads if all went all, all to plan. Yeah. The Caladius, I was planning on killing at least one squad a turn. Mm. That never, that that didn't happen. Um, and the Telemon, I, I brought it as a bit of a meme because... I was actually quite impressed by him. He did okay. He... he, he... he he probably by the end of the game killed about thirty guardsmen. I'd say he's not. He's not at all worth his points. His damage output isn't great, and it's his melee. Though. The only good damage output is his melee attacks. But you only get four attacks base with them, mm. and you get plus one for the Callistus uh, fist or something, Cassitus. Uh, so he's he's definitely not worth his points. He's. It's a tough nut to crack, but it took my whole army to shoot him to kill him. That's the Achilles, all the scions, all the all the Kazakhim. The Achilles is a better version of the Telemon, um, just smaller, and it costs less. Costs a lot less. Costs about uh, I think a hundred points less essentially. Mm. Um, and then the guard squads, they're just there to do things. They they always do better than I expect in games. Um, but yeah. Um, I just think over. I think this is the second time, third time I've run this now. Twice on a battle port, yeah. and once uh, not on a battle port. I faced down Dark Elder. I faced down extremely combat heavy sisters, yeah. and I faced down your uh, custodies. And in all of those games, um, I've been able to get very high scoring. And in all of those games, every single one of my opponents at the end of their turn two has gone. Those creaky boys yeah, are yeah. tough. Yeah, it's not, and that's coming from my opponents. That's not that's not coming mm-hmm. from me, you know, fangirling all over the Krieg. Um, my, yeah, my final my final thoughts were was simply that um, the it sort of this army is falling into a pattern now. The Krieg take the casualties, the sounds do the damage. You force your opponent to deal with the Krieg. If they don't, you'll just have people run all over objectives. They're the obsec, and naturally, your opponent needs to target your obsec. And this is the second game where the Dreadnought has actually done what the Dreadnought's meant to do, just move into the middle of the board uh, and just to score me score me four victory points. That's what it does. It doesn't get it turn one, but it scores me four victory points uh, from boots on the ground. That's very, very nice. Um, the one thing that this list truly lacks, uh, and I noticed it in this game when I was trying to get angles on certain things, and I noticed it in uh, the last game as well, not the battle port, the one I played offline, the lack of indirect fire really is a bit of a problem. Um... I do find that, you know, my opponent is able to just hide little units here and there. And uh, it does mean that I can't, you know, I have, to, and I've got a very short range. My maximum range on my shooting is 28, but realistically it's like on, on my big Scion death ball, it's like 24. So I think, I think, yeah, the indirect fire doesn't uh, like obviously benefit from it, but I think the list as a whole, you're not there to just kill things in the first few turns. No. You're there to, Take damage, get your secondaries, and then grind for your primary. Yeah, and again, yeah. it's like the whole game. Uh, Tim wasn't scoring more on the objectives, but he was scoring eight for primary, eight for primary, eight for primary, and then getting a bit on his tertiary. So he ended yeah. up getting max on his primary. So I don't, I personally don't think you you need uh, the indirect the indirect fire. I think it's fine as it is because 
just the amount of shots you've got with the amount of melter, the amount of plasma. Yeah. Nork Dead Dog, he can just sit in the centre of the board and be like, Come at me. Bitch. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, he can, he can tank so much damage. I didn't believe it until I, I'd rolled it. Yeah, it. yeah. But yeah, it's uh, I, I think the list is fine the way it is and the medics are I wouldn't have thought on paper that they'd be any good. No, on paper they're not. I think that they, they really do make a difference. I think the big thing um, that makes the list so durable, very much final thought for me, and I wonder, I'd like your sort of final thought on this final thought, yes. which is, um, you were talking about like, oh, my hurricane bottles didn't do as much. That's because of take cover. Yeah. The fact that I can be like, okay, against little shots, mm. I'm getting a four plus save. Sometimes I'll be getting a minus one as well. And then the medic can, you know, chip yeah. the first one off. So you're on a pretty good save there. Uh, and then against the, and then when you come in, when, the, when people are like, okay, well, I'll shoot my big stuff at them. It's mm. like, well, I'm resistant to that too yeah. because of mini transhuman. And if my medic hasn't already been used, that's going to come in. So they're just, they're relatively drawable against small arms and they're, re and they're relatively drawable against big stuff. And so because of that, it takes more than you expect to clear them and that makes your opponent much less efficient. Like a custodius player doesn't yeah. want to be doubling up on trying to kill a unit. He wants one of his units to kill one of their units. As, as I said, the Caladius needs to kill a squad a turn, and it was just it was killing that four or three men, and I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> and that's when I was like, "Fuck me, this is going to be an absolute slog." And that's why I ended up pushing the custodian guard out because. If I can get them in salvers, at least they have twelve shots. Yeah. Or like uh, you needed every yeah. bolt at that point. Yeah, I needed literally everything to. That's why I couldn't raise the banners. The bikes died, but they're the issue with the custodian bikes is they're too expensive and they're too vulnerable. Um, and I can't. If I'd played this map differently, and I even if I put everything into cover and then went out and basically jumped on it without the bolter shots and stuff I can't get angles on Tim without Tim also being able to just shoot me with everything back yeah so it is an issue um, what, what else uh, but yeah uh, obviously if I was going to change the list I'd take the Telemon out and I'd replace it with like either a Dreadnought or another bike squad with Hurricane Bolters mm. if, if I was going specifically against this list I'd change all my bikes to Hurricane Bolters. Yeah, because then it that's would be just like, tailoring. That's it naughty. It would be horrific for you. But yeah, because, I'd just stick and take cover for a yeah. couple more turns. I'd yeah, think. yeah, but that's 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 the thing, though, isn't it? It's like that's list tailoring, but this isn't. That's not what you get to do in real games. Not in a tournament either. Yeah. Um, all right, well, Tom, as always, thank you for coming down. Thank you for the game. Yes. And uh, we'll we we've we've sort of discussed off camera, guys. We've done a. Custodies versus hybrid. We've done a mm. custodies versus infantry. We might do a custodies versus sort of more of a mechanized list. See how that comes out. The mobile infantry. The mobile infantry actually being mobile. Uh, and he does the flying. Mi does the die. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, and then yeah, I think we'll we'll sort of start seeing about maybe doing some uh, some death guard battles involved. You know, I can start using some of my orcs stuff like that. But Votan. Some Votan. Nice. It'd be good to see the guard going up against the, the the hotness that is the Votan. I'd like to see. How how punishing the the, the, uh, the space dwarves are, man. But um, but that was, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and all that kind of good stuff. If you've really enjoyed today's video and you want to see more content like this, then please consider becoming a channel member or Patreon supporter. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next Bye. time.